Okay, now we're recording. <laughs> and that is recording now. <laughs> check, check, check. Check. We're here. God damn we're it. live. You. And I'm messing up things already. I'm sorry. The brother fuck. is here in to fuck up everything. Quit I'm sorry. I'm cursing within it. the first couple minutes, so now we're we're ruined. That's what happens when you drink. Yeah, I'm sorry. And now my father in law won't watch this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, I know. I heard, I heard that one, and that was. Uh, I understand, though. I understand. I understand. Try your best. Welcome to the show, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm I'm happy to be here. Little brother, middle brother, Lucas. Yes, yes. That's his name. Middle. It's the second to youngest, uh, third to oldest. Your little middle brother. <laughs> little middle brother. Connor's the baby. Yeah, I'm the baby. Cole's sister. I resent the most because I was the baby for a little bit. And you got to keep this baby. They took it away from me. I, like a dick. You try know my what best. I'm talking about. I'm trying my best. Try my best. Don't get mad at me. Blame the oh, shitty boom it's limp. It's limp. No. Nope. You're limp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We're good. No, we're not. No, it's still we're not, not by your face. <laughs> it's But it keeps limping. Just fucking hold right, on I'm, to it. I'm then. holding. Okay. Cut the balls. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got it. Got it. It's there. Right. It's my face. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. It's better. Yeah, I mean, we're, like you, you literally you're, need you're, to have it by you're your sitting face. Next to Otherwise, me. you're, you're ruining the the sound quality, and then <laughs> I don't even know why we brought you in here. It's wasting our fucking time and our uh, electricity. It's a redhead thing. Sorry. Yeah. Soulless. <laughs> you give two shits less than zero. <laughs> More than ever. Come so on. Lucas Wilcox. Yes. Is it difficult talking to me just and asking me questions? Just flew in. No. Just flew in from Denver. Yeah. A few days back. How's living in Denver for you? Um, I'm going to treat this like a real interview. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pretend like I care too. Ready? <laughs> Go. <laughs> well, I mean, Denver's not much different from living in LA from the four years that I lived. Sounds in. amazing. Yeah, it's not much different. I Already mean, not interested. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> So, I mean, what parts of LA though? Uh, yeah, no. not the cool part with like trannies that are fighting over five bucks in the alley and shit, right? I mean, it's not that far away. I no, mean, but that's cool part of LA. Me and Luke have a story about that. I yeah, mean, I know. yeah, North Hollywood. <laughs> I mean, North Hollywood is, was, I mean, there was a pimp that would walk down and up and down that road and stuff. Good friends with. So, uh, um, you were good friends with a pimp? Yeah, yeah. His name is Sway. Good guy. As in. Like you guys went out together, or like you no, were, come by you the, were a business. He came by associate. The, he came by the. Place. That's what we'll call it. He came by the place <laughs> once in a while. The place. Yeah, my place. The place where you get the hookers. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, Luke, Matt, the place. It was. It was with the women. Uh, my place, place coming which, up. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wasn't. Ba- he was <laughs> Sway. Sway. I th- I'm pretty sure it was Sway. I mean, it's it's hard to remember anything from that time. But hmm. um Beer and Loathing in North Hollywood. Exactly. Uh he came by quite a bit. Are we talking about LA? Are we talking we were about We're talking LA? about Denver. We're talking about Denver. I asked right. about Denver yeah. and then you compared it to LA. Well, I mean that's the reason which made me even less interested in the initial <laughs> qu- initial question I had. <laughs> I mean Denver's, I feel like we can move on. Yeah, Denver's I mean, like LA. Question number two. I mean I could have gone I could have exaggerated on it. Wanted. Expanded on it. You yeah. can exaggerate all day. I can exaggerate a lot. Yeah, yeah. What an expand. Isn't that what we talk about? Is exaggerations? Yeah. Yeah. So Denver is nice this time of year. Yeah. I mean, well, it's going from snow to to hot days back and forth. It's like two weeks ago it was snowing. And you then, think that's global warming or is that I think that's natural. That's spring. I think that's just a that's just <laughs> what everybody says it's, that March is the snowiest it's time. Summer now. And and Denver is March because of the humidity. Do you think that like, like okay? Here's the thing: we'll, we'll get real, okay, real real now. Like, real. Okay. right? This is a question I I care about a little bit more. <laughs> um, so like calendar, right? Yeah. Do you think that like we set this calendar in motion of like okay, these months and this is when the seasons are and everything and like maybe the world doesn't quite turn exactly like that i mean that's why we have a leap year right that's why we add a day yeah and 24 hours is it exactly 24 hours i mean do we I'm, i would assume we probably measured that i don't know i'm not that smart right i guess my point is like are the seasons like starting to kind of like obviously go with like the rotation 
of the earth Mm -hmm. because that's how they work i learned that from science class (laughs) (laughs) but i mean like is it is it like catching up now or or speeding ahead even i guess like well, in the beginning, I feel like it was it's just like a it's guess. Get, it gets hotter I feel like sooner. It was just, like, well, maybe. So you're saying like a couple months in advance, it's springtime, like, almost summer, and all yeah. that bullshit. Is it like a natural thing? Like the earth is just turning, seasons are changing, and we expect it to be on our time schedule, and yeah. it's fucking not? Yeah, well, I think it was just a guess in the beginning. It was like what what was... Pretty educated guess. Yeah, well, educated. Yeah, obviously, but it was just more of a guess. They didn't have any measure, like... The measurements, measurements that we have today to to figure out those things. To d- yeah. So back then it was just kind of a guess. We haven't really ever, I mean, who like, has really thought about redoing the calendar? The Romans. Yeah, but how they long? added they added July how, and August to it. Really? Yeah. Well, because of the guy. Yeah, the two guys. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, Julius, and that guy, Augustus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, well, no, those guys. That's, that's the only reason. It's because two guys, they were like, you know, we need to put them well, in there somewhere. Yeah, well, but think about it. Like, okay, what's Octa? Octa? It's eight. It's a software that I use for my company. All right, we'll move but, on to that later. <laughs> like, but Octa is eight, and yeah. October is the 10th month. Yeah. Deca is 10, but December is the 12th month. Yeah. Doesn't make, we added fucking time to it. I mean, were the months longer? So Did somebody s- sit out there and fucking count, <laughs> like, till the sun fucking came back to the same spot and they were like, one. Yeah. Two or like did and like the first day was like one two three four five and he's like okay that's too fast for seconds. So what? they have one guy that got there like you're the you're the and one guy's like one Mississippi <laughs> two Mississippi the guys like what the fuck's a Mississippi? Yeah, it's not, it's not. Don't worry, you'll, it'll come. And then it'll come. fucking hit him with a rock. <laughs> so like the science, bitch. Are we gonna have some guy come along that we're gonna name another month after? Fuck yeah. 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 Trump timber. No, yeah. yeah, yeah. Trump, Trump timber. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what well, would we'll be Biden's? What we'll would be Biden's? Slow Vember. Slow Vember. <laughs> 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 but you just end it with everything with the ember. Can't. Yeah. Or slarch. Slarch. What well, would we'll be, who would be slarch? So, would it be like. Smarch. There you go. Like, wouldn't AOC need one too? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Something around this time, I feel. I feel like it would be more of a summertime. No, nah, she doesn't deserve that shit. <laughs> Come on, it's a little bit of summer. She looks like a summertime month. Why? Because she's tropical. Yeah, exactly. She's from the I'm Bronx. Versus, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Whatever. She doesn't get a month. That's too many fucking months, and then we'll be down to Every like there's 15 gets a month days in a month. Yeah, and then it'd be, it'd be like, I need to have a two month birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday month. It's the dumbest shit. It could be a, thing. a birthday week is stupid. A birthday day is kind of fucking overrated too. I'll be honest with you. A it's birthday? my birthday week, and I'm celebrating. That's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thirteen and a girl? No, I'm gonna be twenty five. Exactly. An alcoholic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> celebrating for the whole year. Yeah, gotta That's get my drink in. Speaking of drinks. Or uh, not sponsor, but <laughs> we talked about soon this. to be, soon to be, possibly California craft beverage, a new distributor to the Central Valley Valley, uh, brought us some uh, indie brewing company beer, beer thug life, and indie brewing. They collabed on this Mexican lager. Para mi gente, it's a very cultural. Do you know view. Spanish? It's very cultured of you to do. You know what para mi gente is? I'm super white. I don't know. Yeah. You super were singing white. the Spanish version of Papa Roach in the car earlier. I love that song. It's the only <laughs> song that I know in Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. yeah. The only <laughs> Spanish song I know, too, is Caress Me Down by Sublime. <laughs> <laughs> but li- literally hearing that song made me want to learn Spanish because then I know Spanglish. what I'm singing. Because I'm like, I know <laughs> yeah. all the words to the song, but I don't know any of the words. He rhymed his name with Ron Jeremy. <laughs> I took a photo with Ron Jeremy. The, the, the Sonic the Hedgehog? Not Sonic. He's just the Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic's a different guy. He's just the, the Hedgehog. The Hedgehog. Yeah, he looks like a hedgehog. He the hair. Well, you know he got that though, right? It wasn't because of the hair. Why was that? 
Because he could blow himself. Ooh, so he could tuck himself in? Yeah, yeah. and that's how full they tuck. called him the hedgehog. We call, we call it a full tuck. <laughs> oh, is that what we call it? Yeah, we called it a full tuck. Who's we? Uh, you and Ron Jeremy? Me and this guy right here, this dog you can't see. Mm. Yeah, The dog can full tuck? Yeah, we call it, we call it a full yeah. tuck. Dogs can full tuck? <laughs> <laughs> that cats can only do Anyways, that. I took a picture of Ron Jeremy. You took a picture of him? Just no, like with hey, him. You said, hey, stand there while I take a picture. It was a Polaroid. I had to pay $10 for it. You Because there was two of us in the photo, not not just me and Ron. We're on a first name basis. Not just me and Ron, <laughs> but me and, and uh, my buddy Edgar. We took a picture with him, but it was like $5 for a Polaroid. Uh, and he was like, it's going to be 10 And he's sitting there shaking out the Polaroid. <laughs> I'm like, 10 He's like, yeah, for both of you. And he's like, just look, <laughs> like, you need to give a shit. And he's going to sign it, and he starts to sign, and he, I got it, too. You can see where he starts to scribble around Jeremy. I'll sign it, the hedgehog. And he goes, oh, the hedgehog. <laughs> like, real quick. So you can see where he starts a J, and he turns it into an H. That's so funny. <laughs> and, I, and then he's like, 10 bucks? So he knows. You really what, that hard up, Ron? And he threw it at me. He like, knows what you, when you say hedgehog, he knows what that means? Yeah. Yeah. I'm almost certain he was in on giving himself the nickname. <laughs> Makes sense. I mean, come on, dude. He went into an audition there, like, so what do you got? Like, you're a short, hairy Jewish fella. Yeah. And he's all, check this out. And throws his feet <laughs> over his head. And like, Get that guy on camera. Oh, my God. But that's like a one show Again, thing. This is like old school. Good, it's it's like old good. school Hollywood guys sitting there smoking in the back. So, oh, shit. It's like a damn hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> Get the camera. <laughs> pictures of Spider Man. I need pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. So Denver's nice. Denver is nice, but you know, I'm 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 going through the different cities. I'm ready to leave. So I'm ready to leave the big city. You lived in we were born and raised in Exeter, California. Correct. And you moved to the booming town of Visalia, California. For, yeah, yeah, for a little. And then you moved to Morro Bay. Uh, lost, no, actually, I moved to San Luis Obispo. And then Los Osos. I feel Osos. like we can get through this a lot quicker. And then if Los you Osos. Just followed my timeline. And then Morro Bay. I mean, to be correct. I what's mean, Los uh, Osos in Spanish? What is that? Um, You know, the bears. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's, yeah, it is it's the, bears. the bears. Yeah, there you go. It is. Yeah. Yeah, so you I lived in Chicago for some time, then went to Morro Bay. <laughs> yeah, then Morro Bay, and then to uh, the booming. I already said booming town. Huh? The Mile High City. The mile High the City. Yeah, of Denver, Colorado. I've been there for two years. Three. Oh yeah, three. Yeah. Good catch. <laughs> I helped you, know you move, bitch. <laughs> you shut up. We'll tell your story. You got, it. you got it. You got it. I helped you move. I know how long ago that was. Yeah, that was that was yeah. three years ago. You owe me <laughs> three yeah. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Let me just fix my mic. Um, yeah, back when I didn't have any furniture at all, at all, I had a air. What mattress. the fuck did you help him move then? If you had no furniture, where did you move? A TV, a cat. Um, <laughs> you had to go dresses. all the way there. For I that? had to hold his cat in the car trip. Yeah, most of the time she had four the whole, days. You didn't have a case. No, no cat carrier. No, we had a cat carrier. It's no, just you didn't want to hang it. out in it. That's all. You felt bad for the cat. He felt bad for the cat. Well, the cat was losing his mind. So, <laughs> and the cat's a she. I was sleeping most of the trip. Let's get that right. She. You said the cat was losing his mind. Oh uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I. We should be telling his story for him. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm telling myself that with you guys. Let's get that right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yes, I uh So Denver and then you're here for visiting. Before I move back, yes. Back to here. Water. But yes. <laughs> drink your beer. But I need water. From Indie Brewing Company. You know, everybody drink beer but drink water. With thug life. Save money, drink beer. Yeah. Have a beer and a water. Yeah, beer hey. and a water. European style. Scientific note, folks, beer is made mostly with water. So is coffee. We're not, we're not <laughs> talking about that right now. I know, but they're both like they'll both dehydrate you like a ton. Water dehydrates you? No, coffee and beer. <laughs> Jeez, they're mostly water. This makes no sense. No, but they both. Your science you. has fucking holes in it. Yeah, right? I know. That's why I work on computers. This is so. why you live in Denver. And why you're moving back to California? <laughs> it's like, makes sense. Yeah, moving back to where these guys live. So, <laughs> God's country. Yes. I think my. Never mind. I thought my headphones went off again. They didn't. 
No. Moving on. Stout. What do you do for work in Denver? Um, I am a. S- I'm employed by Sway. <laughs> Sway. Sway, Sway moved me out to Denver. <laughs> Sway expanded. <laughs> And we're talking about Sway as the pimp. Yeah, so we're talking about him. That's called a callback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not talking about Sway, other Sways. I don't know if anybody knows about other Sways. You know, the DJ guy, Sway. DJ Sway. You know. I almost brought that up earlier, but I DJ thought it would be Sway. too corny. Yeah, you didn't know. <laughs> but, it was, it was um, corny, so you brought it up. I kind of forgot about Sway for a second when you said it. But, the uh, pimp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a thing to remember. That that we just only, talked about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, <it was laughs> only maybe 12 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Things happen. Okay. So Sorry. anyways, you're working for Sway in Denver. I'm working for Sway in Denver. No, I am an, uh, I'm an associate. Well, now I'm not. I'm not, not an associate anymore. I'm a system administrator for Sunrun uh, Inc. So it's a solar company. Yeah. So what? All I do, but I have nothing to do with solar, so don't ask me any questions about solar. I have nothing. I have no idea about financing or how the panels work. I don't know. Why did we bring you on here? <laughs> I know about how to provision you an account and how that works, how the onboarding and offboarding works. That's you know how to I take know. people's money? That's about it. Oh, no, you I actually, mean, I take, you just. I mean, I can take your money. I mean, I mean there's, there's other businesses in my past that I know how to take your money. Mm. Those are the fun businesses with, with sway. sway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, now I remember. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do they pay you up front, or do you got to give them the services first with sway? Um, I mean, it matters on which which kind of client are you. Are you a return client or a new client? A Z job. Yep. What's a Z job? <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It goes this way and that way and that way. You're an associate, Sunrun Inc. Yeah, probably not representing them pretty well, so no one will watch this. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Let's hope not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Should we announce our pronouns first? Uh, I mean, I'm a redhead ginger daywalker, so there you go. Daywalker, <laughs> that's a nice. good one. Yeah, well, daywalker, if you have it's watched half. the South Park it's episode. Half. It's half I'll make mine. Well, j- well, daywalker is, is somebody who... Is a redhead, but doesn't have freckles or pale skin. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure fucking day. Daywalker is a vampire that can fucking walk around during the daytime. Yeah, exactly. That is, but that but in the ginger world of of Daywalker, that's what it is. That's what it is. But this is all Cartman, Eric Cartman's. Um, oh, um, it's a South Park reference. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Is. More Denver stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes, very Denver. I live actually right next to Casa Bonita. If you know what Casa Bonita is. Yes, the tacos. Yes. And it's they're closing down, which is very sad. Because of COVID? Yes. Sweet. Very sad. Um, but there's like new stimulus money that should be able to save them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. No, there is. There's like some legit, well, I'm going to say legit. The idea sounds legit. Basically, if you lost money in 2020, mm-hmm. which a lot of people did, and you can show the difference between what you made in 19 and what you lost in 20. And if you got some of the EIDL disaster loans, you can show the difference. And it's like they'll the uh, con- country will grant you that difference. So like simple numbers. Say you made $100,000 in 2019. You got a $50,000 loan. And you can show the difference that you didn't make the hundred thousand dollars for the year, and all you had was that loan that got you by. Basically, mm-hmm. they grant you another fifty thousand to make you whole. It's kind of a decent idea. I also I don't know how it works out again on taxes. Don't know how that plays out, but anyways, if they want to keep diving off of fucking rocks indoor <laughs> and selling fucking tacos and wet burritos, I'm so mad that I never actually got to go into it and stuff. But but I hope. I mean. I've heard from word of mouth that it's going under. Um, I hope it's not. Like, personally, just so I can go. But I've heard. that's. Maybe they just take the money and they're going to retire. That's what they should I do. mean, every, every, how the news goes around with, with Denver with that place, because I talked to everybody about it. They go, um, it's an experience to go to, but it's not. It, it, the food is terrible. Right. It'll make you sick. It's like medieval times. Yeah. It's like the food's not good, but it's medieval, worth the experience. Medieval times is cool as fuck. Yeah, I, I mean, it's one of the best times I've ever had. For it's sure. chicken. Yeah. And they call it like a baby dragon. And all it does is freak the kids out. And I'm like, well, it just made it taste a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Because you called it something other than it was turtle soup. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rice and beef broth. 
all it is. I don't even really remember the food. I just remember just yelling. Yeah, that's, for the that's, night. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I, that's I don't fun. remember the food at all. I'm calling really. the waitresses winch. Yeah. I wonder if they still yeah. let you do that down there now. Yeah, I know if it's like if it's PC correct. anymore. Right. It's like to so. do that. The new woke medieval times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, bring me a beer, winch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like the madam. <laughs> madam. I, I remember all like the wooden shields and wooden swords that we get and stuff. Mm-hmm. Those were fun. Those were so fun. Wooden axes. They're not as good as they as they used to be. Mm-hmm. So we went. We went eh, a few years back. We were down there in Disneyland. We went. <laughs> Took Janie and the kids, you know, it was Janie's birthday. I was like, let's just go to Medieval Times. I liked it. I always thought it was kind of fun, you know, but I hadn't been since we were kids. Well, what, like right when Cole was leaving or something mm-hmm. and uh, for the military. But then we went down there and I was like, oh, yeah, the swords and the shields. It's all cool. Like, first of all, the the shields actually have like leather straps now. So instead of the rope that was stapled to the board. Right. So they hold up a little better. However, it's like not the solid piece of wood that they used to be. Cheaper um, wood. Yeah, like this shit's going to break. <laughs> well, we broke ours pretty pretty easy. It still. took some time, though. Yeah. That shit hurt. That yeah. shit was solid. Yeah. I was grabbing the sword. I was like, this don't even hurt. And I'm hitting Hayden with it. Like, Yeah, ours broke pretty easy. We, you and, me, and the pla- me and you and the plastic ones. We had we the plastic ones. beat the shit out of each other. And the plastic ones. Yeah, I felt bad. <laughs> like I felt shit. bad. Yeah. I felt bad. I, 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 beat, I beat Connor pretty bad <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> so just, She'd be proud of that. <laughs> No and yes. We're building character. No and yes. <laughs> yeah. At least I wasn't as bad as Cole. So that's all I feel bad. I feel good about. Him. Can't wait to get him out on this. I, I don't want to have him on this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think he watches these or anything, so I don't think that counts. So we'll we'll, like, we'll fuck him. You think he'll notice this part that we talk about? That we talk about him saying he doesn't watch it? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But all right, so you work for Sunrun. You're an IT guy. Yeah. You, it's like the first thing you tell everybody when they call, like, hey, uh, did you try turning it off? No, I, I mean. Did you try connecting to the internet? To, I, did you I try don't. connecting to the network? <laughs> did you wait 30 seconds? <laughs> turn it off. Do you tell people to wait, like, turn it off and wait 10 seconds? Is that just to, like, fuck with people? Turn off and wait for 10 seconds? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Like, when you're restarting your internet and you're talking to the IT guy. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to wait. Yeah. Why would you wait? Like, wait 30 seconds and then you're under your breath. One, two, three, yeah. four. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's to make <laughs> sure that you... I, maybe it's to make sure that you turned it off. Like, that's that's the one thing. It's just to make sure that you turned it off. You know, it's like same thing with, um, with Edison. You know, yeah. the people would call in for their power and then the operator walks them through the breaker process of how to go reset their breakers. Uh-huh. And it's like, yeah, they told me to reset my breakers and they told me... Turn it off and wait 30 seconds. I'm like, why did they tell you wait 30 seconds? They're like, well, I don't know. They just said. And I'm like, well, you got to push it all the way back to reset it and then push it forward. Like if it tripped. Yeah. You know, so a lot of times nobody ever really reset it. This is also somebody that's like I'm picturing reading off a fucking piece of paper and telling people how to like reset their breakers. And I'm like, why did they tell you wait? I'm just going like move it real quick. And they're like, oh, you didn't wait 30 seconds. I'm like, you have to wait 30 fucking seconds. You want your power now? You want it 30 seconds from now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's no, I don't, there's no reason for that at all. So it's just a dickhead thing from IET. Well, no, I think it's just a, it's a dumb person thing for the other person to make sure they turn it off. Oh. It's, it's oh, so you're, it's condescending. Yeah. It's a fucking nerd thing. Most likely That's condescending. It's just to make sure, well, because it's like, unplug it yeah, it's, it's for something, 10 seconds and wait. <laughs> okay, it, now plug it back in. It's something that I learned with when I worked at. To the wall, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> when I worked at Geek Squad at Best Buy. Um, oh. It, yeah, those are probably funner stories. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just like treating every person like they're your grandma. It's such a bad thing, but it's like you want you want to make sure that's you, a good thing. Yeah, but, but if you treat your if you treat them like your grandmother, yeah, hopefully you're you, nice to your grandmother. Exactly, you're nice. Be nice to yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> we are we're very nice to our grandma. But is that how you treat the customers? Patient. So you're saying you're patient with grandma? Yeah. Is that bad? She watches these. I'm patient. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's. <laughs> it's I don't edit. Either. It's it's called patience with anybody. You have no patience. 
Yes, I do. You got fucking zero. It's because I deal with you guys, but it's Just a different saying, thing. You have zero. It's a different patience. thing with family. Family. If we had Cole I in here, less. you'd have already been fucking screaming, probably exactly. walked out. Cole, Cole, Cole's the worst out of everybody, so it's fine. Cole's the worst. He is. It's fine. <laughs> and he knows it. And I love him. And <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you don't love him? Mm-mm. Okay, I get it. I get it. I understand that. But um <laughs> But no, but it's like patience. It's so like tre- treating everyone like your grandma. It's because it's Treat Cole like your grandma. Yes. It's like you just have to have patience because they're trying to learn everything. They don't know everything. So you're saying like grandma doesn't know how to do things? You're saying that I'm not, I'm not saying you that. Say sounds like me. that's what you're saying. I, I didn't say that. I just treat said him patience. like your grandma. I just treat said him patience. like grandma doesn't know, and then I have to have patience with grandma. Come on, grandma knows. You're making this hard because grandma's back at home, where I'm gonna go sleep. I know. I'm gonna tell so her. So you're making this really hard. <laughs> tell her. Yeah, I love you, grandma. I love you, grandma, so much. Grandma um, Lucas said a lot of things. <laughs> Please before don't edit we this. Turn, I'm gonna say this throughout the whole thing. Before we turn this on, he said a lot of things. I'm gonna say this through the whole thing that I love you, grandma. Cut him out of the will. <laughs> I love you, Grandma. But um <laughs> doesn't mean it. <laughs> That's the patience talk. <laughs> but I don't in my job right now, I don't I, I'm not a service desk guy. I'm not a service desk guy. So. What's a service desk guy? It takes a call? Yeah, the guy who's the who's like, I'm having PC problems. Yeah, the first person you call. Like where it's tier one, tier two, and then I'm considered tier three. That's what I'm considered. Do the tiers go up? Uh, I guess. So you're higher than a I'm tier above. one? Yeah, I'm above. I'm just saying, because sometimes I'm it's like... better. Tier yes. one's at the top. Yeah. yeah. Just saying. No. Tier... Th- no. Connor, do you know? It'd be like golf. Tier three? What What is a tier three compared to tier one? Which one's better? I do S rank, A rank, oh, okay. E rank. Uh, <laughs> he's a, he's a D&D? Yeah. <laughs> I'm no, not part of this Nice try. <laughs> nice try bringing yeah. Connor S, in. S rank, top, A rank... Okay. Second. S is top and yeah. A's second. Uh-huh. Yeah. Curve. Super. Excellent. Super. Super. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Basic. And then Superb. <laughs> Casual. Casual. Is that what it is? No. no. Oh, <laughs> it would spell like sack. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I guess it's a B though. It's like sack. <laughs> All right, anyways, you're tier three, I'm which tier is three. higher. Which is? You're up the chain. Yeah. Which you're moving is, up. You're yeah. shaking things up, moving up. Not after this. So I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Woo. Uh, yeah, tickets. I mean, like, people who call in don't come into me first. It's not. I'm usually working on projects. Oh, you're real important then. I'm working on projects. I'm you're working like, you on talk to, structures. You talk to David at the service desk. I don't know why the fuck you're talking to me then. It, I mean, start with David. That is part of the conversation. I'm and, gonna go play ping pong in and the then back room. Nathan. I do love ping pong, so you I play mean, you play ping pong at work. Yeah, he gets paid. Well, for I mean, pong. since COVID, we, don't, like we don't play pods? ping pong anymore. Well, mm. not anymore. I mean, the office isn't a thing since COVID. So, I mean, I could go into the office. It's just that getting there to the office is different now. Taking card the tra- swipes. No, it's taking vaccines. The, taking the train is different. So, because we take, I take the Is light it cleaner? rail. Cleaner? No, it's it's less people, but mostly homeless people and people who are upset. You know why? Upset because everybody else is in their fucking houses, and that's who's gone and taken over right now. Yeah, you got Sway fucking expanding <laughs> because he's making his own little micro yeah. economy out yeah, there I on mean, the fucking all trains. Power to Sway. Fuck yeah, because you know why? Because you and the rest of your fucking tier one, two, and three buddies are at home. No, I mean they're. Yeah, some of them are at home. Some of them are at the office, yeah. That's what it is. Sway is fucking taking over. It's expanding slightly yeah. east. Oh, do you need another more? I need another. Year. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, this guy's getting up and moving. Would you Would you hold yours? Do I have least? to hold it? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. Part of the whole deal. We're trying to... That. I fix my pants. Yeah, quit showing those white-ass legs. I was trying, man. It's just, I don't live in California where you can dress like this all the time. It seasons. snows sometimes right now. Seasons. Yeah. we. It I, snows in California. When? I mean, where? Bro, where? 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 Look outside. But where? There's a bunch of fucking snow up there in those hills. I mean, how, many That's mile, how many hours away is that? Two. Okay. Two hours away from everything. That's is what it they, two, that's is what it they two say. Connor? He kind of he does not like, I don't think it's two. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, the Redwoods from here, about an hour. 
It's not snowing there. It's not snowing there. Yeah, it is. Is there snow? Up in the park? Uh-huh. It didn't look like... It's I looked up there. It didn't look like snow up there. You didn't... You can see past the foothills. Beyond that, there's snow. And that's about... Well, how much snow? Like patches? Enough. Patches? Enough. Patches. Uh, enough to go out there and be like, inches, there's fucking snow on the ground. It. I doubt it. I, ca- I call bullshit. I call bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit. Why? Sway tell you six wasn't enough? Yeah, Sway, Sway <laughs> says that it has to be more than seven. But... <laughs> You ain't a real man without another over seven. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. That's what he told you. What an asshole. Over so seven. I got to hold this shit. Okay. Short time employment. Yeah, because then you'll drink it. Yeah, I get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got me four beers in, and I already spilled some on me. Okay, so there's no snow in California. It only comes from fucking Denver. All right. Yeah, so. you people don't know nothing about snow. You people. All of a sudden. You people. Now you're a Coloradian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Colorado. You ever wonder how much Indian you are? Native American, sorry guys. Do I ever wonder? Yeah, how much Native American you are? Like, how much the percentage? Or a quarter. I would. Do you think you're actually a quarter? Here we go. He's an IT guy. Listen, based off of the knowledge of the family, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stick my neck out and say a quarter. But what if it jumps? You know? Like up or lower? No, no, no. Like, you know how it jumps a generation? Uh, you, can, you can be less than, like, it won't be so much. How does it jump a generation? I don't know. Me and Ty talked about this last night. He like told me that. Like, swimming and it's all, nope, not this time. Like, the Native American that, one moves or what? But DNA, though. I mean, uh, not DNA. I'm sorry. Like that's, the DNA that's contains wrong. more. Less. Uh, yeah, more, more or less, less of, of, what that, of what that is. Like, what if we're not a quarter? What if we're only, like, 5%? Could be. Yeah, I know. But the great part is about the tribal part of it, they don't go off of 23andMe. But what and do you, they go off of registries and bloodline. Have you thought about doing 23andMe? Or, no, or Ancestry? just like I don't want to get a CCW. Don't need my name on any kind of documentation where they're going to stick me in a FEMA camp. But why? D- that's what I was just explained why. <laughs> that, doesn't seem like, that doesn't seem like a good enough reason, though, because it seems kind of You want to be in a FEMA camp? What is that? How is that going to put you in a FEMA camp? It's a cage. They throw you in. How is it going to put you? How is it going to put? Because I'm on a list. They're like, oh, what'd you do? This guy has a lot of German blood. He must be a Nazi. Boom, I'm gone. But who? Would and he that? has a CCW. Oh, a Nazi with a gun. And boom, I'm in a fucking FEMA camp. You think so? Not really, but I just don't. And but. then you're John McCain and poke with a stick. Bam. Mow, mow. Well, I want to say a joke, but I won't. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what about you? Why don't you want to do it? I don't want to, I don't know. I got time. I got better things to do. Swabbing your fucking mouth? You can't do that? Mm-mm. Just really giving, do my ears. Giving my DNA to a company sounds funny. Why? What are they doing with the DNA besides providing me with the possibility of like, hey, this is what I am. I mean, they're tracking your data already. What if they're making another corner though? Yeah. What if do we need fucking, another shithead like me out there? What if there? there's another I would love game. another me like I'm out there. I'd be cool. I'd be no, like, hey, what's up, bro? No, we don't no. need another you. <laughs> I would love it. Mm. You'd yeah. be like, what's up, bro? Yeah, you don't. You don't need it. You, I know, need it. you know what he would do? Oh, You'd I be do? like Austin Powers. You'd be like <laughs> making out with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, Lucas, you're so hot. He's like, yeah, I know. You're so hot. (laughs) (laughs) Stupid. Taking your own mojo and shit. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then I can just, like, if I need another organ, I could take from that guy, too. You think he's going to give it to you? Here's the deal. He'll give it to me if I want it. What if that guy's (laughs) thinking the same thing? Oh, yeah. True. Very true. It's like the whole, like, you're the clone. You're the clone. (laughs) Um. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I mean,. I don't know. I've been thinking about doing ancestry just because, or, 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 um, cause grandma did ancestry. Grandma. Doris. Oh yeah. She did ancestry. Uh, she was talking to me cause I was asking about her, about her history. Cause I was like, well, I want to know more about hers. Cause we know dads and we know the native American Mostly. side <laughs> and stuff. I don't know grandma's of Maxine yeah. really and stuff. I mean, grandma had wrote uh, a lot of stuff down. I found a bunch of stuff from grandma Maxine that she had actually wrote out, um, like, uh, family trees, like was See? filling it out. And found a bunch of uh, articles and different things like that. And it was all based on, you know, name and, but it's like, okay, this is my cousin. This was her dad. This was his dad. This -hmm. was his mother, you know, like down the line type of thing. And she actually was doing it for for Grandpa Val too. Like tracing a lot of that stuff back. Actually, I I got a bunch of that paperwork where she was just like filling things out. See, that's awesome. Because like, it's easy to know Grandpa's side. It's easy Mm -hmm. to know his side. We don't Kinda. know. It actually got it got 
convoluted near the end, like or the beginning or Well well so with like grandpa's grandpa's grandpa, dad. Grandpa Bob mm-hmm. or Grandpa Val? Val. Val. We're talking about Val, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah. Grandpa Val, Grandpa Val's dad died, then Grandma Beatrice remarried. So then that actually added mm-hmm. to the family. Right. In in a in a different way. So there's a reason why there was the Tapolera side too. You know? So which is cool. I mean, but like there's there's more to it too, you know, it, and and really at this point it it's grown substantially. Yeah, you got cousins everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I just want to know, like, uh, it's, We're like Mexicans. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to know a little bit more, just of what's the other side, because we, we know Native American <laughs> of that one, but like them grandma sets. Um, Scandinavian and Irish that she was practically that was Irish. Major- no way. Yeah, that's what Scandinavian the majority or Doris? Doris. 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 She said she was she She's was majority Irish. Scandinavian and Irish mm-hmm. and stuff. All and, the flaming red hair in this fucking family. Yeah, and I was. It, it's funny. and my shirt. Because <laughs> I always think that I'm not. Even though, like, even though I am redhead, I'm like I'm not Irish. It's just called denial. Yeah, even Native American. I'm always like no, I'm not because it's as hard. It's hard to. I don't know because you, you get, better claim that native. You're gonna get yeah. hella shit. Yeah. Everybody else, <laughs> well, we everybody don't, else don't, don't let you claim it. Don't worry. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we we don't get shit out of it of anything. I mean, like barely anything. We have to fight for anything that we want out of it. Yeah, if dental. Want, what do you want vision. out of it? I mean, <laughs> how, I mean, how hard was it for you to get education out of it? I didn't get education. Out exactly. Of it. Exactly. Because you can't. Yeah, you would, here's the deal. Do you want to live on the reservation? No. Okay, well then there you go. But that's bullshit. You have to live on the reservation to get what you get something out of it. Uh, well, that's the way. Like if we're talking casinos and, and the money aspect of it, that's usually how that stuff's tied, especially in California. Yeah, but so reservation stuff it's, is, it's is bullshit because really it's it's not really a sovereign nation like like they say it is yeah. and it isn't. You know what I mean? Like COVID was a prime example of how that really isn't. Right. They they <laughs> they had to follow the same bullshit that we did. Right. But that was also why Grandpa Val was like not for that stuff either. Yeah. So the truth is like whatever you're wanting to get out of it, I don't think we've got what we're going to get out of it. I don't think I've won something out of it. much. No, it's I just never really felt like because you just when you get looked at and stuff, when you tell somebody that you're Native American, they kind of just look at you and be like, "Mm, yeah, you're not. Yeah. You're not Native American. No, it happens all the time. And stuff. And it's so then I get to the part where I start thinking that I'm just not Native American because that's just state of mind. Yeah. It's just, but well, I just don't want to tell people that too. Tell people fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just, here's the deal. When yeah. you tell people you're Native American, like, and you can tell them what tribe you're from, essentially, yeah. like, okay, you're from the Central Valley, from really Elderwood area. Yeah. The Wachumna tribe, which yeah. is part of. The Yokut, which everybody thinks Yokut. Yokut means the people. But isn't Mo- bunch? Isn't Mono like the Mono other? is Tachi is. There's all yeah. there's there's a bunch of sex in yeah. there that yeah. that make that up. If you talk to anybody else, like <laughs> here's the thing I always ran into. It's like, oh yeah, I got Native American blood. Oh okay, well what what uh what tribe are you from? I'm like, well, it's a uh, you know Wachumna tribe. It's here, Wood Lake, Elderwood. It's area. Wachumna. Wachumna. I always say Wachumni sometimes. It's the same thing. Okay. It, it is, you can pronounce it both ways. Okay. And but then it's like the response is oh yeah yeah my uh, my grandma was a was a Cherokee princess <laughs> like right. they didn't fucking have those but cool yeah, for yeah. you right <laughs> I know I I always feel bad when someone tells me they're Cherokee or something like that I'll be like, <laughs> this, it's because people are fucking ignorant okay side story which is actually kind of funny about how ignorant people are to Native yeah. American things is uh, our former sister in law had bought this little basket mm-hmm. and she was like. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for her on this one, but she was like super proud of it. She was like, I found, I had found this lady that was selling this trinkets and she's native American. She told me that they would make these baskets for the Indian husband and, and wife to put their wedding bands in at night. And I'm like, yes, their wedding bands that they kept on the nightstand. I'm like, so like more recently, that's what it is. Yeah. And she was like, Oh no, like they did it back, back in, you know, the old days. I'm like, <laughs> They didn't wear wedding bands. They had sand <laughs> on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, how much did you pay for that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Must have been a good salesman. I'm and, and, yeah, she bought it from somebody that said, "My grandma was a Cherokee princess." 
Everybody's a fucking Cherokee. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one that I always hear a lot of people say that they're Cherokee. Especially and, everybody out here says that. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, I I go for it. I mean, it's whatever. That's cool. Do your thing. You're a Cherokee mm-hmm. stuff, but it is what it is. I don't know. It's lies. Yeah. It's all lies. Yeah. Uh, so we're a Viking. I'm we're a Viking Irish, and you Native want American. to be. I know that's what Cole. Yeah, you Cole, Cole. I mean Cole. Cole. Cole puts that in my head. Scandinavian, Native yeah. American. Yeah, it's like the perfect breed. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> ultimate savage. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I mean, I mean, if you want to, like, yeah, it, it would be considered one of those. No. But, Mm-mm. Yeah, this is a fucking mutt. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's a mutt, a mutt. But, but isn't a mutt like a savage in a way? A mutt's way fucking better. You got to think about it this way: like a mutt, if you get a purebred, you're go. You're talking about even like going back to England. Yeah, like royalty. There's yeah. a reason why they got bad teeth. It's a lot of fucking inbreeding. Keep it royal blood. I, I After a teeth. while, like if you don't throw a a peasant in there, like you're gonna the gene pool don't go real deep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at Game of Thrones. You had Joffrey, and he was a fucking Mm -hmm. incest baby, and he's a tyrant ass dude. But you know, Mm -hmm. because that's like Cersei was something. (laughs) Because yeah, that's like real life. (laughs) I mean, it's Game of Thrones. Yeah, great show. Yeah, show. Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at Jamie. There's fucking dragons in that. You're gonna use that as like a history (laughs) reference for fucking (laughs) inbreeding? Yeah. So, anyways. They did do that. There might or might not have been dragons. We don't know. <laughs> but anyways, yes, mutts are better. That's why, like, Doberman. Doberman pinchers. They're mutts? No, they're not mutts. They're <laughs> fucking, they're inbred so much. Their heads are so small, they press on their brains, give them migraines, and they fucking snap. Really? Yes. Didn't know that. Bulldogs are all kinds of fucked up, like purebred bulldogs. They don't yeah. last long, and they got to you know all kinds of cleaning just to keep them alive. Because well, otherwise, I mean, they'll choke on their own spit. That's how fucking dumb they are. Yeah, inbreeding, inbreeding does not that, that actually literally stops the world's access. You want to keep this shit turning? Go find some strange, make some babies. <laughs> you want the sun to come up tomorrow? I Move mean, on. Yeah, I Go mean, find sway and some strange. Go get some sway strange. <laughs> It's very, way strange from Sway. I think we're finding the, the title of the episode soon. Very <laughs> soon. Very soon. I'll name it what I want. <laughs> the products uh, of Sway. Yeah. The products of Sway. Six inches ain't enough. <laughs> <laughs> Average, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. How far did we get into your life? Well, we got into my job in Denver. That's, I mean, that's, I mean, that's the, I know (laughs) that's the big, that's the end of my life and stuff. And yeah, (laughs) we're, and I'm here now and I'm here now. (laughs) This is where it goes that I'm trying to get back to here. Why? Why why do you want to move back to California? Well, the, the, the pandemic and, and everything politically and everything else that's going on in the world, it's just made me realize that I want to be closer to family, even though you guys are dicks but mm-hmm. <laughs> you're laughing i'm laughing but you guys are dicks, but, uh, not every day is this fun <laughs> no <laughs> but it's 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 that you whenever you you realize that like when they start talking about like can't travel or something like that just the, the idea of that of even though it's not it wasn't close to it at all it's just the idea that it's it'll be harder for me to come home right it just it made me want to come home it just made me want to be closer to family if and especially when shit goes bad, like, like I was living in a city where people started to riot a little bit, and I was just like, man, I don't know when shit's gonna just like people are losing it and stuff. And it's not just politically. I mean, we're we're stacking up on top of each you other. You don't got a gun either, do you? I do. Oh, good. I do. I got dads. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I did. yeah, yeah. Totally. Well, yeah. But I mean, that's a good thing. But I talked it'll about stop this. a little bit. No, but we <laughs> talked about this. That I talked about this at the park with people. That about, you walk around with your gun. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, hey, I got this from my dad. It's unregistered. I do walk Keep your dog I, over there, I do, I do, lady. I do walk around my apartment with it. You like Homer Simpson? You walk around like open your beer with it. <laughs> no, but like a twenty-two is actually pretty good because it won't go through the walls in my apartment. Mm-hmm. And it, if it hits somebody, it's gonna move, like, stick inside them or anything like that. So, Evidence. Yeah, well, it won't kill them, so I won't get sued. Like, they're, like someone in the other party might sue me. 
mm. um, if I kill somebody, but I'm not going to. But um, <laughs> it's uh, but it's just like it won't go through the wall. So that's the biggest thing. If you miss and it goes and it hits a wall, it won't go through. Right. And it'll hit the next door neighbor. That's a bad thing. Oh, so, that's what you're worried about. I thought you were just worried about having to like fix drywall. A or giant something. hole in the wall. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. a bitch to deal with. But I'm just um, saying. Yeah, <laughs> I think I fixed on my side, not on their side. Yeah. But um, my hole's covered up. <laughs> yeah, fix your hole. But uh, mine's got a hinge on it, so I can see. <laughs> <laughs> but I got that twenty-two. But yeah, um, but uh, yeah, when things started getting a little crazy, I just wanted to be closer to home. I just wanted to like just you. You start realizing the people that matter to you the most, and I spent most of my life trying to like find something great and then i'm just like what was great was back home and i just i and that's what i wanted to come back and i don't know if it's this growing up thing that i'm i'm in right now um you know being my being 31 now i, I like to tell people i'm just in my 30s you're old i'm just 30 and now it just becomes that now but it just made me just want to be closer to home um so now i mean that's why i am making my way back home it's not a bad reason. No, I mean, I think that, I mean, I think eventually everybody gets the same idea that family becomes more important. It's just eventually you'll, you'll yeah. realize that. And I think even, like you're saying, even like with the pandemic, it's like a big moment there for it where it's a real test, especially like that, you know, I never really thought about it either until we were talking the other night about it mm-hmm. is, you know, like the, the single person aspect of it, you know, yeah. like that's, it's a totally different deal. It's like one thing when you're locked down with your family, you know what I mean? Or like even your neighbors, you know yeah. I mean? To be honest, this time last year, we were actually kind of having a good time. Like yeah. we were barbecuing, having dinners, we we're doing family game nights. I mean, you know, there wasn't really anything else to do, but it made you slow down. Now on, excuse me, the other side of it, when it's like a single person, like you said, all the events, those things start going away. And then, and, and what we talked about from the very beginning was the political side of shit was yeah. when this thing gets very divisive and is being used that way, people start to separate, you know? And then you, like you were saying, you know, that was like, <laughs> you know, that, that was a big deal where like it, people start drawing hard lines, yeah, you know? And that's, and that's, that's a fucked up place to be, you know? And that's, and, and I can see that too. There, there's, there's a an aspect of loneliness that kind of comes into that too, or, or even longing, you know, where you're kind of thinking back about home, you know, like, like you were, what you were saying, you know, when you're, you're thinking back to, you know, well, shit, if I can't travel, when would I get to go see my family? You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and uh, the same aspect, Do you have a problem it, with authority too. Um, I used to, I think more in the past I did. And now I, I just, say, I, know I had I just, the biggest problem. They told me I couldn't travel. I'd be like, fuck you. And then I'd travel. Yeah, well, I mean, that's I, just me. If I if I can still rent a car, I mean, and I can get out, then I will. But like the plane thing and stuff, you can't. When I went to see Cole on the plane, and mm-hmm. they said I had to have my mask on the whole entire time, but you can eat, so you can take off your mask. Yeah, I kept a Twizzler in my hand the whole entire time, <laughs> and yeah. kept my mask off. And every time the flight attendant come up, I just raised the Twizzler. Up. <laughs> like, no, like, bitch, I'm keeping this off. Still eating, mother. <laughs> but, mm, I got yeah. down to one Twizzler left, and I was like, I can't eat this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you buy like the family size pack for yeah. whenever you drive, whenever you're going home. Get the big yeah. M and M's, and like I was, in. I was personally kind of nervous about the 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 pandemic. I mean, I didn't know. Obviously, being by myself, I just don't know. I'm just kind of watching a death ticker at home, watching how many people are dying, how many people are surviving from it, and how many people are getting cases by. It. That's all I'm knowing and stuff. And I'm scared to come back home because I don't want to get grandma sick. Mm-hmm. I don't want to yeah. get mom sick or anything like that. Like these people who I am scared of getting sick. That I don't want to get them, and as you know, the media gets you scared in that way. Yeah. And but even if they get you scared, I'm like, do I want to take that risk? Right. And stuff. And it's like, is a risk worth it? And like, I've taken risk my whole life. My life is like based around risk. Most. You're of a it. fucking daredevil. But but. <laughs> Just, sorry. You're ben Affleck. Yeah. Yeah. He's being sarcastic, but it's a true story. You're Ben Affleck. But but You're the Ben Affleck daredevil. Uh, but it, th- this. <laughs> so you one. just kind of pose on the rooftop. <laughs> But this one, I just with, with someone's health is it's in is in in. Well, it in makes this, you think about it, yeah. and you don't want to be that one. You don't want to yeah. be be like, oh shit, was this my bad? Like, did yeah. I bring this all the way from Denver? Yeah, but then the whole year, you know, the whole year goes by. Then you think you wasted the whole year because you've been scared the whole time, 
and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. And oh, then yeah. I'm like, and then I'm like, fuck, did I just waste this whole year because I've been scared about it all and mm -hmm. stuff? And I mean, yes, no, I don't know. I mean, it. it but Your then Hans it, Molman coming out of the quickie mark. It, but it doesn't. You yeah, we in there for five COVID. minutes, <laughs> and I want those five minutes back. <laughs> But it, I'd only waste them anyways. <laughs> <laughs> true. That is a very true statement. I would probably just waste them anyways. <laughs> He's like, we're going to give you a whole year of your life back. I'm like, fuck it, keep it. Yeah, yeah. I probably would have just be fucking gaming the whole time. Can but, I just trade it in for something cool? Yeah. Like tickets at Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> finally get that. Finally get that toy I can't get. A top shelf. Yeah, top price. shelf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's the reason why I came home. I mean, just well, not why I came home. Why I'm on my way home in a way. It's it's the weird process right now of um, coming home. But you will still be employed with Sunrun, yeah. right? Yeah. So like all that works out for yeah. you that you'll be able to. They're working with you now. Well, you were employed with them in Morro Bay mm -hmm. when you left, yeah. anyways, and you went to Denver with them. They wanted to make a consolidated office for IT, and then mm -hmm. now it's become this thing, and now they have noticed that, you know. You don't need to be in an office. And like a lot of companies now that a lot of companies aren't going back to the office anymore right. because of what's going on. And I mean, there's there's always debates on what's more productive, being at home or being at the office and and all. I, I think what's more I think what it is, is not working people to death. That's that's the most productive thing. In reality, isn't that all what we're just doing anyways? Yeah, well, I just think that we shouldn't be working these crazy hours that are like in the United States that we make us work. Like we yeah, but think, you get paid for it, but we don't do good work. Of course not. We're Americans, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. So what's the perfect hourly week? Well, I mean, there were studies that show that four days a week actually show greater pro uh, productivity. Eight hours, twelve hours. Well, I mean, doing eight hours four days a week, or doing ten, doing ten four, do a ten mm -hmm. four, and stuff. We're uh, yeah, closer. <laughs> um, I'm like further away. A 10 4, 10 hour days? Yeah, I mean, we did Just that. Just so you get three days fucking off? Yeah, well, we did that at uh, at the Edison the up in that. Three Rivers. You want to work 10 hour days? I'll fucking do 10 hour days. 10 hour days suck. They're not that fun. You pay days overtime, suck. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> Some people might work do 10 hour days. Well, and if stuff. you do the four tens, a lot of times it's just like it ends up being like a salary deal. Mm. There's And I think they circumvent laws sometimes unless you have like a union that'll back you on it yeah but there's there's a lot of times they do that kind of thing where it's like well we're not going to pay you the overtime for it because technically you're getting an extra day out of it mm -hmm. again back to the the measurement of fucking time we decided that fucking nine to five was like a yeah. fucking work day you know like who comes up with that shit but that i think that's what this like you're saying this pandemic ends up kind of throwing things out the window a little bit where it's like hey this is this is totally different right Right, like you got you think outside the box. Whatever you thought was normal now with technology is able to adjust. This thing kind of gave it a little bit of a like kick in the ass, yeah. to move it down the road. I think know? that's like something we're gonna see later on. Like, what did the pandemic give us in the end? Oh, we're already seeing that shit like, where people are trying to figure it out, but it's like who gives a fuck? Like it's almost over. They set a fucking finish line for it, which is fantastic yeah. in California. Yeah, well, the seventy percent. Like seventy percent of adults. June fifteenth, no more mandates. And well, July. Everything's no. He's, he's it said, says June fifteenth in California. I'm pretty sure that Biden said July. Fuck Biden. All right, we listen to <laughs> we listen to Grand Ruler Newsom here well, in California. Well, d d I think he said. Well, Biden said was seventy percent of adults should be vaccinated by July. Biden fell asleep halfway through what he was saying, so I don't <laughs> even know what the fuck happened. Which country just went mask free? It was Texas. Like, <laughs> no, country, <laughs> not state. Country. Yeah, it's but, a country. Yeah. It's a they, sovereign they, they, nation of the uh, United States. You don't like yeah. this one? It's all right. It's too creamy for a golden soap. Oh, look at them. Try it. Okay. I'm trying the creaminess of this beer. What is this? Uh, Jackrabbit. It is called Jackrabbit Brewing Company out of West Sacramento. West Sac. This is the golden hair, golden oh. stout. City of Trees. West Sac? I mean, Sacramento City of Trees, right? Am I getting that right? Mm -hmm. Sacramento? Put it in the comment section if I'm he's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck no. I'm pretty sure it's the City of Trees. I'm pretty sure. That's Sac Town, fool. If you got this far in the video, put it in the comment section. You want some dank drink? Dank drink. 
Or do you want the smiley face? Dank it up. The smiley face. That's like that? a joker. Smlex. That's another Mexican lager one, right? Smlex. Very much stealing the uh, no, it's a, idea uh, of IPA. joker on that. Uh, both of those are IPA. Yeah, of course they did. Yeah. Not, they didn't not, steal it. They not, borrowed not, it. Not original. It's marketing, bro. Not original. You don't need to be original. You just need to be catchy. Uh, not today. Not today. You don't see what people buy in the bar. Yeah, well, know. maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. Very true. Just saying. Yeah. It's sold a sh- we're selling a shit ton of beer that has Danny Trejo's that's... face on it. <laughs> Danny Trejo's and Steve Austin's name on it. Yeah, exactly. Like when we got Broken Skull IPA, everybody was like, I'm a guy and Steve Austin's beer. I'm going to go get some. They busted over their head and drink it too? Yeah, no. They slapped <laughs> them together and then pounded them in the <laughs> ring. <laughs> Yeah. Who's your favorite wrestler? Who's Macho your favorite? Man, Randy Savage. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah Macho <laughs> Man. I don't know. I liked. Uh, I used to like Ultimate Warrior a lot. Ultimate Warrior. Who's he used your, to be? He used to be my favorite. Who's your favorite wrestler? Who's mine? Yeah. You know, you, if you, you, I don't think you ever watched it really, but John Cena. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah. See, yeah. Like, there's the that's undefeated the, champion. The, that's Actually, the this is the this is the generational gap right here. Yeah. That shows like when, like, so Hogan was like the main guy. For yeah. you. Ultimate Warrior was cool as fuck. We used to like him. I actually, I like the Rockers, the tag team, which yeah. was Shawn Michaels before. Triple H was cool. Triple H, well, see, and Triple H was different even when he first started. He's a movie started. star, too. He became, like, one mm-hmm. of the first movie stars to me for wrestlers. That was a rock. Uh, Really? Because, I mean, remember the Blade movie? Blade 3? He was he was a vampire. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But not, like, big movie star. That's, like, The Rock and then Cena has kind of. Yeah, followed. I, mm-hmm. I saw Triple Steve H. Steve Austin's first, like though. best buddies with Sandler, so he's on all his shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. But she's actually really funny though. I just remember him. In oh, the you know who I used to like a lot was Goldberg. Well, he was my with he, WCW. Yeah, yeah. remember well, the video game? Well, whenever he did WCW and uh, it was it was NWO? all just yeah NWO. Well, Sting was that my, was Sting was my other, Sting was my favorite. First Sting or Crow Sting? The, the Crow Sting, the yeah. guy who came with the bat all the time. Yeah. yeah, and he had the makeup as mm-hmm. yeah. yeah the kiss makeup. Well, because I was like I was a big crow. <laughs> I love crow. So, so Brandon Lee. Yeah, but Goldberg was probably another one just because whenever he like he he he, he, he speared. Sting, he speared the 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 giant. Yeah. And then he did the spear and stuff, and it was that that uh, Rumble Mania, and it was uh, Ray Mysterio and John Cena. Uh, Dude, now, Ray now Mysterio. Ray Mysterio. Now yeah. You, now you got yeah. me thinking. That was probably my top two. You know, Vice has uh, some TV show or uh, documentary series that's uh, uh, it's like the behind the scenes deal, mm-hmm. but it's stories about wrestlers. You know, so like I actually watched a documentary on Andre the Giant, which was fucking mm-hmm. cool shit. And then, but this one was like all like uh, Brett uh, the Hitman Hart, yeah, which actually he was cool as shit too, and it went through like. You know, his career, his life, and all that. And I mean, there's all kinds of them. They actually did uh, Chris Benoit, the one who ended up killing his son and his right. wife and himself, you know? So, like, he went through that whole deal and talked about, like, CTE. And it's actually pretty cool. It was a pretty cool uh, series. I, had, I forget what it was called. It's what was it on? Vice. Oh, it was on Vice. Yeah. It was, it was pretty slick. Not a fan of Vice. Some things I'm a fan of Vice. There's some things I like on there. Some things. I don't go there for news. <laughs> no, no. If it's ever news related, then I'm like, nah. What do you think a, of that beer? Yeah, you made a face when you drank that beer. A little different. It's light for an IPA. It is. That's what I was kind of... Con- yeah. I like it. I'm no, not it's an not IPA bad. drinker. Hey, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm usually just trying this shit out. It does have a creamy, like kind of oh, like a weird... You're on the one before us. Yeah, I'm not drinking the same thing. You're so. behind. Catch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ahead. I'm ahead. If you think about it, you're just ahead. That too, but also ahead. <laughs> okay, so here's something to think about. Two things that me and Connor have discussed okay, many buddy. times, and you've kind of brought them up almost. One, robots. Okay, mm-hmm. Two, zombie apocalypse. Yeah. So, number one, robots. Because we're talking about like productivity, working from home, all these things. I think you're getting replaced with a robot. Sooner or later. If you're, yeah. I think you are. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. 
Because then it will leave us to do better things. Like create better things. I am create not, what? We'll see. More robots? Well, for one thing, I love being technical and logical and all that shit. I love it. But being more anything, I love being creative. So if it gives us time more more times to be creative, then yes, then I will love it to for them to take over the shit that I do not want to take care of. What if they try to take over everything? That's the problem. Um, there's always a fail safe. There's What's always the fail a fail safe? safe. What happens if it's a cooking? USB chip? Just like plug in. Real quick. They know that. What if they don't let you plug it in? No, there's always there's always something built in to to go around it. There's always something built in. I hope so. Like I'm glad that you're optimistic. How do you feel about the robot cooking your McDonald's sandwich and not giving you an extra sauce when you ask for it? <laughs> I heard this one. I heard this one. How do you feel about that? No, that's 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 being picky for one. That's just being picky. I'm not paying the twenty extra cents, damn it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It was a person like here's here sugar and gives you like an extra one. Yeah, I might tip that. Oh, McDonald's because you like uh, the one who's like because the one person who like I'd tip them a dollar before I paid an extra twenty cents. Fuck yeah. Okay. Well, I ain't tipping you, a fucking you, robot. You, you, is this part of like the whole like undeserving like think you deserve everything like generation oh. of oh. like I deserve this much and stuff like oh. you deserve what you get okay oh. you don't get you don't deserve any more than what you get oh, that's it shit. I mean, that's it if I'm asking for it and they're gonna give it to me for free like yeah that's oh, cool but okay. if, they, if they tell me twenty cents I'd be like. Maybe I probably don't need it. Yeah, you deserve what you get. But if they gave it to me because well, who free, wants to break com- a fucking dollar? Complaining yeah. for something that you get for free? Hey, they only give you two for no, free. No. He's not complaining that he gets for free. Yeah, because what if you like a little extra sauce on your nuggets? Okay, yeah. you need you a third extra pack sauce because say, the tenth nugget up. needs. The, then you say it. The then you sauce. say if they, if they make order. robots, they need to make the 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 nugget packets fucking big or sauce packets bigger. Yeah. Okay. Bottom line, increase by twenty percent. Yeah. Wait, so, Boom. so, so you're <laughs> asking, so you're asking for you're you're asking for extra sauce. Yes. When you order. Well, no, 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 you no, go no. up after. to the window. Oh, so after you order. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, after you make the order, then well, you know what? You know you screwed up already <laughs> because you can't be decisive in the moment when you need to make a decision. Because they're going to charge you twenty cents for an extra fucking two packs. Then right. you don't deserve it. You don't deserve Wait, it. You don't get that twenty cents. Twenty cents for two packs? It's something like I that. thought it was like a quarter. I thought it was a quarter for one. Yeah. Okay. I think it's that. It says if on the window right there. You can't pay for it. You don't deserve it. What do you think they do with those fucking packets? You okay. think they go so through and make sure that they're you're not expired? For free? No. I'm if not complaining about something can't, for free. If you can't, com- I'm if you can't pay for it, you don't every deserve three weeks, they got to throw out those packs that are That's left. That's not there. your thing. That's not, I, it has nothing to do with you. Them home. That has nothing to do with you. The it corporation is, is no, losing if they don't give me that extra free sauce. It has nothing to do with you. They're losing me as a customer. Yeah, you have nothing to do with you. Customer's always right. It's called white privilege, everybody. That's not what it is. It's called sauce privilege. <laughs> sauce privilege. <laughs> and I want the fucking robot to have a heart and be like, here's an extra fucking sauce packet because we know two's not enough for them fucking dry ass nuggets. You know I don't what? Know. I brought Sin Swan sauce back for you because you're a reliable sauce <laughs> customer. Bam. <laughs> no, you don't. You, if you don't pay for it, you don't deserve it. That's all. That's all. If you don't pay for it, you don't deserve so, it. So you're okay with the robot being hard and fast and not having a heart at the okay. window? That's let's, fine. Let's change, let's change it. That's fine. You go to Taco Bell across the street. Yeah. And then the server, the human server, crane grabs hot sauce in there. Pisses me off. You don't like when they crane <laughs> grab fucking hot sauce? I don't want that much. I save Diablo, so that's Makes me I, upset. I want, I want a lot of hot sauce, and I feel like they just go like this. They never give me the one that I want, too. They always give me, like, they, they don't give me the you one. You ask for more than one type? No, but just before, I don't go to fast food anymore. But like, Oh, oh, oh. But, oh, I don't eat fast food. I live in Denver. <laughs> But when they did, it was always never the one that I wanted. It was always like they give you a whole bunch of like mild, and I'm like, I want fire, but okay, I guess I'll. I don't want to be the guy to be like, uh, I don't want this. That's a human aspect. That's a human being like, fuck this ginger bitch. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, mild. Yeah. So they never give you me what already I, hot. They, son. Don't, they don't give me what I want in the beginning, <laughs> least, so. Yeah, I but mean, the that's... robot's only gonna give you. Three. He's not gonna crane grab. Exactly. He's thing automated. Is that to he's give gonna you three. have exactly. Three suction cups to hit them bitches and throw them right at you. That's fine. That's his job, no, and you would not. understand that. It's not fine. You would understand to be like, this is I the... I need extra Diablo from my breakfast I need a heart from my but server. But well, why don't you tell them that in the beginning? Because if I tell them I need extra Diablo for my they breakfast gonna charge you in the for morning, it. they're going to be like, sir, your stone is fuck. It's 3 a.m. 
And I'm like, yes, I know, but give me the fucking sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can have that discussion at the ordering menu. Okay. So but the robot won't have it with me. Yeah. Well, that's, 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 that's where, that's, that's hey, where robot. you, that's where you would figure it out there. It's, it's not the robot's like, I am notifying the authorities. <laughs> Uh, so you're he's gonna DUI. write down your license plate he didn't have to write it down he just looks at it and he makes a phone call with his fucking head and then the cops are on connor's ass yeah. and then he's in the there's pokey no, there's no more jack in the box at two o'clock in the morning yeah, with yeah there robots. no there's not why because he's gonna check you th- down your you fucking th- license plate like you think you think you think yeah. no no they, they could turn you in no but they fucking don't, robots no. are some okay. fucking punk if bitches. they do that then what the business won't come back well, they don't have to pay nobody. They don't have to worry about they it. They want business to keep coming back. Why would they stop business? No more munchie meals. No, they won't uh, stop business. They're going to stick to their business. You know that. They're going to be programmed to do what they do. Fuck robots. That's it. <laughs> Fuck okay, robots. Move on from okay, this. Because I'm fine with the robots. We need high school kids running the fucking Jack yeah, of the Boxes. Yeah, and order every time. I'm okay with it. No. They're that's why not. they give you extra sauce. No. Yeah. That's the that's the let 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 the little let the little kids maintain the robots for me, okay? Uh, why? Oh, well, now now it's like have the little kids mine the cobalt for the fucking iPhones too. Why not? You know, face. you know. Well, why not? <laughs> they got we little hands. They hey, can do, get hey, in there and get hey, the tight spots. Hey, what phone do you have? I have an American made. You have an iPhone. <laughs> and you have an iPhone too. You have yeah, an iPhone but mine's too. spelled yeah. with an F. I know. I'm fine with it. I'm tired. They, 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 they do hard work for my phone. F O N E. You know. <laughs> iPhone. You know? What what shoes you guys got? What what, what you got over there? Adidas. Yeah, I'm sure those come from a, a safe place. Safe place. Yeah, yeah, all day I dream about sex. Yes. <laughs> That's what it sounds. Corn. <laughs> I, I, I corn. have some Nikes, and I am proud of where they come from. And who you hand pick those ones? That's why you like them. Yeah, you got I, to design those. Yeah, ones. I got to design ones. You like, had to, you got to whip the China kid into making those. Yeah, they, they even they even. <laughs> says they, his name on. They got my name. He's yeah, got his gamer dude. tag. His gamer my, tag. What's your gamer tag? Sparrowhawk. That's my name on. That's my name when I'm. Look at, look at. This is my impressed face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm destroying. <laughs> Slaying bitches with my <laughs> <need> sword. No. <laughs> Slaying. <laughs> Sparrowhawk. Yeah. I mean, I had nothing I'm else a to do. Hawk. I had nothing else to do. I mean, you should have been chicken hawk. From Looney Tunes. Mm, that would have been funnier. But I said, where are you going, boy? <laughs> I am. I'm a chicken hawk. <laughs> I'm going to get a chicken. So your, your your robot question, now that I squashed that because it means Now that I've solved that problem. <laughs> solve that problem. Okay, let's move on to zombie apocalypse. Yes. You're zombie apocalypse happens. You're in Denver. You're dead. Go. I'm mad that you, I'm mad that you 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 told me <laughs> that I was going to die because I'm a bleeding heart. Yes. He said... What was gonna weigh you down was your dog and your cat. Yeah, yeah. My dog is here. My, do- my dog is here. My cat is not here, so um, I, she's not weighing me I'm down. I'll tell you right now, your cat ain't gonna wait for your ass either. Zombie apocalypse happens. That she will take gone. care of herself. She she's gone. Gone. you dead and start eating. She's you. gone. <laughs> she's like, mm, zombie sparrow huck tastes good. I mean, the dog is what's gonna keep me alive more than anything. What you gonna eat him? You are gonna be like I possibly, am legend. but no, I would never do that. Um, yeah, you, why? Why attach yourself to something? Like that. Like, if you didn't learn anything from Will Smith, you'd know the dog is a good companion. Well, the, the, the and movie's then it's wrong. it's just heartbreaking. Listen, we're not talking about movies and books and bullshit, <laughs> so we're fucking talking about zombie apocalypse. Okay, so we go back, to the, qu- go, go back, go back to the question. Uh, no, we the- actually, we, we it was a statement. Zombie apocalypse happens, you're in Denver, you're dead. I'm dead? You really don't have to. Saying oh, okay. you're I'm in dead. your apartment I'm in Denver. Dead. What's your first move when yeah. the breakout happens? Um, first of all, do you believe it? Um, I mean, it's possible. I mean, why not? I mean, if we thought about it, why not it be impossible? I mean, most things that we thought were not Im- thought. That's what I'm saying. This thing is possible. most likely assimilation anyway. So at some point, somebody's going to hit the zombie button for fucking I mean, shits and giggles. And yeah, boom, they're here. Yeah, I mean. We, I mean, there's like that whole like insect that like parasite that goes into insects and and like reanimates their bodies or something like that. There's like some kind of parasite that does that already. Yeah. Yep, that sounds made up. All right. Nope, that's a real thing. But it is. It, there's no. There's no. There's no way that's gonna come to a hu- like in humans. Why? There's no way ever. No, I don't think there is. Okay, let's say it does that happen. Yeah. And now, what is your plan? What is your? Well, being in Denver, wise. I mean, it's like getting well a blunt object for sure 
first is getting something that's gonna a blunt. Blunt. Of course, you'd say get a blunt. Yeah, get a blunt. Get a blunt. Get a blunt. <laughs> get a blunt <laughs> light it up, and then and then just say fuck it. Um, <laughs> uh, no, it's like a finding like a bat of some kind with some kind of sharp object. Like, no, literally, literally the we, bat. Are we confident that this is how zombies die? Getting hit in the head is. Are we confident? No, but you just want to hit something and make it stop. Oh, just like anything, hit anything, break its legs, maybe. You know, what if it runs fast? So, what if it's World War Z zombies? Yeah, break its no, legs. It's literally. Dawn of the Dead zombies. They run. They don't same stack. Thing. Same thing. Yeah, they don't stack, but they run. World War Z. They stack. Well, well, yeah, they stack. Uh, yeah, yeah. They just like crawl up. Scary zombies. I don't know. Dawn of the Dead zombies still scare me to this day. Yeah, when they're running like barefoot. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> um, mm hmm. Um, well, I mean, days later, do you think the legal psilocybin out there would make a difference? Mushrooms? Yeah. Why don't you just say mushrooms? Well, cause I mean, <laughs> people probably take acid and it's probably the same thing. I mean, yeah. We're I, talking about psilocybin. Psilocybin. Cause it's directly. the legal term. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's actually the medical term. Legal medical. Medical. Term, yeah. Medical. <laughs> Technically, if you're in Colorado, <laughs> mushrooms are legal too. Yeah. Well, well we're, don't, is anybody here have a, a, a Doctrine? No. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doctor. Hey, doctor. 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 <laughs> um. Well, with Viking. Oh, God. Vikings? Vikings. I don't know why I said that. Um. Zombies. Mm -hmm. um, Zombie Vikings. <laughs> yeah, I know that'd be Fuck. worse. <laughs> that'd be worse. Fuck. Um. I don't know. A blunt object, and then finding a. Finding someone who, I mean, stealing the car. I mean, because I don't have a car, so I'd have to okay. steal a car. Steal a car. What about the scooters that you swipe your car? No, I mean, I would have to find an <laughs> SUV. I would have to find. You can't an, put the dog on there. I have to find like an SUV of some kind, something that has more space. But I mean, I would be Room moving for activities. I'd be having to move. I mean, I would have to come back here. I mean, obviously, I mean, sad. why would you come back here? Okay, I don't. I don't want to come back here anymore. Now I changed my mind. No, I'm you just changed asking, my. You changed my you? mind. Well, okay. Look, if they're fucking following you, don't bring them here. <laughs> First of all, yeah. I may not be here. I don't know if you heard my solution. Yeah, to this, I know but you're. You're I'm, running. There's you're a leaving. hole on the ground that we're going to. Yeah, no. See, I'm, I, know, I may and, not be here. I'm just saying. I'm not running anywhere. I'm walking into traffic at the fucking very least. See, Connor talked about. Didn't you say that my like Cole, that like Cole's plan? Because Cole has a plan and stuff. Obviously, some tunnel and well, the map in the mountains. Something. He wants to go up to the mountains and all that and stuff. Well, because like you know, back in the day, I I wrote a script about a zombie thing, and it was literally based based in the mountains and stuff. So I've always kind of had that idea of going up there. You ever been up there at night? It's terrifying. Yes, with the rabbit yeah. call and sitting on the backside of the hill. That's what I'm saying. That's now okay. add That's zombies yeah. to the equation. <laughs> I don't want to be in the fucking hills. Well, you know, you want to be away from people though. There's a lot of people up there. Yeah, that's now. the thing. That now there's more people now. Now there's more people. Well, I think I'd just be on the road, though. More than anything, I just want to be on the road. Just be mm. moving. Like, the biggest thing is moving. You don't want to be sitting in a spot and ain't just, like, I'm just going to sit here. Because I just it, feel like there's so many things, though. Like, what kind of zombies are they? Yeah, well. Like, if we've learned anything from the movies, how do we actually get rid of them? How do we kill them? Can you kill there's them? There's no They've way of getting rid dead. of them. You just got to outlive them in a way. How do y'all live it when it ain't even alive? Well, they don't have any food source and they can't do anything. How anymore. are you an expert? Like I said, we don't even know what kind of zombies they are. Well, yeah, I'm just guessing, obviously, because this is all hypothetical. So I like to think they're Dawn of the Dead zombies every time I think hypothetically about zombies. Like the original Dawn of the Dead? Mm -hmm. Like 70s? No, no, no. The, the, the one, the Zack Snyder one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the 2000 one. Did, he do, did, he, did he do Dawn of the Dead, the new one? The newest one, I mean, what we're talking about, the one where he's like the little girl who attacks the dad. You where know? they're in the mall and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think Zack Snyder did that one. Because yeah. Dawn of the Dead was the first, well, the first one of that was in the 70s, right? Yeah, yeah. It was kind of like, you know, all the horror movies were kind of like indie films. Well, and stuff there was like Night of the Living Dead, I think you were talking about. Night of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Night of the Living Dead. Well, Dawn of the Dead is, is his, because mm -hmm. I think they're redoing it on Netflix and stuff where they're somewhat... Took him out, and I'm so upset that they took <laughs> that guy out. Who? Chris D'Elia. Oh. I'm so mad they took him out. And so they removed him from everything. Mm. I'm mad. So but it happens. He's still Don't be a predator. He's still funny. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I would just be moving. More, more, most of the thing is just be moving. With your dog. Well, obviously, yeah. I mean. Obviously. I mean, don't make me choose. But <laughs> it's okay. Well, I'm just saying. What if at some point you have to choose? Yeah, obviously There's I'm going to choose there myself. Is a straight, you would? Yes. Okay, it you sucks. said it. It <laughs> sucks. It sucks to say, but yes, I would. But, but I, Take obviously, a note. Yeah. yeah. So when it's just us, we know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in, <laughs> yeah. Luke's out for Luke. Yeah. No, no. I've no. been honest. At this point, if it's just us, something happened to the family. I don't know. I really don't may know. may have been the zombies. It may not have been the zombies. I mean, I would probably like if if whatever got him, I would I would spend a lot of time murdering for a while because you only murder it once. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I would just keep going. Yeah. I would just keep going. Got some hate in your heart, huh? Well, if he took him out, it's my baby. If he took him out, <laughs> yeah. I would lose my mind and stuff. If he took I him would, out, I would I would be upset if yeah. my family got eaten by zombies. Yeah, I'd get over it. I don't know. I don't know. Realistically, <laughs> days, I don't day. think I would. Huh? <laughs> Two days, one day. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Good meal. Well, if if, if I lost <laughs> everybody, <little> <laughs> <laughs> like I, if, if it's a zombie apocalypse, there's a lot more going on. Where I'm like, I don't know if I want to be here for this. True. You gonna like just a psychopath straight up. At that time? You gonna be negative? What if like I'm gonna have to just strive to survive? Like become- I'll be honest. If the fucking internet goes down for long enough, I may just fucking give up. Like, True. it doesn't even need to be a zombie apocalypse. It just needs to be, like, a fucking real inconvenience. Yeah, and no I'm more, just like, No more time for me? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like, seriously. I'll just be like, man. Like, I think I could. I think the TV's fucking not working. And there's no more at the store. I feel like I could actually, like, become something during that time, to be honest. Like what? Like I don't know. Vegan? I think I really could. I think I could after a while. I don't know. You didn't wear a leather jacket in third grade and <laughs> act like a hard ass. Just because ass. you have. Just yeah, you bro. Yeah. You were scared you of me. Got you used stuff. to tell mom and dad, oh, God, that guy's a thug. You can't let him wear that. No, I'd just be like, it's embarrassing. I'm like, this kid's Until I pop out that well umbrella. He has a well umbrella with a... Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. <laughs> well umbrella with a leather jacket. Leather like, jacket and well umbrella. You used to have a well speedo. I know. That's, <laughs> beat that, bro. That's a hard. That's a hard. That, all right, all right. Lucas was a chubby little boy. <laughs> that's even better, chubby kid in a well speed. He was. Yeah. Dude, he was thick. One boy was like thick, 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 thick. With, three, with three C's. All right, all right. Yeah, I had like four C's, bro. <laughs> you were like like the Michelin tire man. You had like little <laughs> balls on you like that. I still think I speech I, impediment. I still think I could. I, we'll I could, just will talk. I could run a certain <laughs> section of the zombie what apocalypse. The you ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, you ain't gonna do nothing. You'd be driving around with your fucking dog in the car, but it's like there goes that fucking weird ginger guy fucking I'll driving be, by I'll again. I'll be collecting supplies. I'll be collecting supplies. Off of on my what? Way. Everywhere I go, on you know the how road, like, bro. there's gonna be an awful lot of people that are still alive. Yeah, and I'll you're be I'll probably gonna I'll, get taken out before see, you get to see, Utah. See, that's the thing too. I wouldn't treat. I wish uh, everybody would be realistic about. I would. I wouldn't treat other people like people during that time. Exactly, they ain't gonna treat you like people either. You're exactly. one. You're a ginger. Yeah. <laughs> two. You're roaming around in a car with a dog sitting yeah. in the front seat with yeah. you. Everybody he's just staring if, at people. Everybody, that's gonna piss people. If off. I don't know them, they're an enemy for sure. For sure. God damn. For sure. If I don't know Shit's them, they're rough enemy. in Colorado, bro. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would, I would treat everyone as an enemy. Well, Casamita's gone. There's yeah. No I fucking mean, law. I no have more. nothing to live for. Because <laughs> Casamita, Casa Bonita is gone. Yeah. So I would treat everyone as an enemy at that point. Hmm. I'm sorry. And then I would just take all their supplies, take the supplies that I got, and then be like, be the little trap, like a little caravan. Sell things, selling things. Who are you gonna sell to? You're all you're doing is stealing from everybody. Yeah, I must like be stealing from everybody. So yeah. you're gonna be the Brahma herder and Fallout. Exactly. Uh, no, I murder a, those yeah. people every time I see them and steal okay. their fucking shit. Okay, you know yeah. what? But I would have, I would have this and guy who would be two, like another guy. There's always two at that cards time. with a Brahma, and I fucking kill him each time. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you're you. a jerk. All right, you are we're talking evil. video games, yeah. and I, I yeah. kind of know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, it's just it's it's but a, barely. It's a game about post-apocalyptic uh, yeah. living. Exactly. All I'm picturing <laughs> is is that you become Gary Oldman and eat the book of Eli. 
Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. going to run a fucking town. Yeah. And be like the crazy son of a bitch who lives upstairs in this old abandoned hotel. Exactly. Yeah. And that's going to be you. Yep. And like trying to run shit. Exactly. <laughs> God damn. It's good life. Good mm. life. Good life. How do you keep a peace of mind in this? How do you meditate or... I mean, oh, I, do, your, do you understand where I live going. now? I mean, I don't really live around people too much right now. So, I mean, I'll be just fine. I'll be just exactly the same. Well, how do you keep your health up now? I mean, the same thing. I'll just, like, shoot a random person. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I shoot sway when I see him. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> joking. Whoa. Um, no, it would be meditation, obviously. You do, obviously. You do a lot of meditation? Yeah, I mean, are we being serious? Yes, I do. Meditate. Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> we're, 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 we're coming question. back. Yeah, back. We're, we're bringing it back in. Yeah. Now we yeah. know how fucking bloodthirsty you are during a <laughs> zombie apocalypse. Yeah. We can ask, how do you keep your fucking mind sane nowadays? Yeah. Um, Rather than panicking for a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, just praying for a, a zombie apocalypse to come rage. so I can actually <laughs> have something to do. Um. No. Well, let me get that for you. Yes, ma'am. please. Please. That's a pour of a drink, if anybody can hear that from a microphone. Lots of foam, though. That's how, you, that's how you pour them. But we'll deal with it. Pour fast and hard. Fast and hard. <laughs> that's how they like it. <laughs> Six inches. Fast yeah. and hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Average. It's all you okay. Can, it's all you can do with six inches. That's hard. <laughs> Long strokes out of the question. That's dangerous. So, so I gotta back, hold this. Back to your meditation. Um, taking care of myself during this times of craziness. Yeah. Um, meditation is something that I've kind of uh, recently have gotten into I'm watching somebody look into a can walk into a, look into a glass wondering what's at the bottom of it you got bugs I'm pretty sure it's hops <laughs> <laughs> actually actually hops they didn't do too well at filtering that no it happened the unfilter is the best bro yeah <laughs> pulp Sometimes no pulp. You get it yeah <laughs> pulp? no no pulp <laughs> get a little no pulp all the way fingernail in there sometimes yep. for a little flavor yeah um no, I mean meditation. I've something I've like uh, recently got into. I mean, I'm only twelve days in now, and I would be more. I would be more days in if if I wasn't home. It's just kind of hard to meditate at home. It shouldn't be hard to meditate, but <laughs> you know, you know, just uh, it's easier to meditate when you live by yourself. Oh uh, yeah, well I'm just busy, you know, just being home, just seeing everybody, and uh, uh, and and then also I'm trying not and, to and make and, bad and, jokes, and then Len is trying to make jokes. I'm trying to avoid right now. I I know. I know. Can't meditate when everybody's at the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to avoid those jokes. I'm trying to move on from them. Mom, I told you not to bother me when I'm meditating. <laughs> Hi, John boy. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed, John boy. <laughs> Okay, anyways, uh, sorry. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, I've used apps to help me meditate and uh, just going through the blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I keep talking about meditating, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk about meditating because both I'm of you guys are not making serious. me. No, <laughs> if, it was, look at the wall if it was just me yeah. and you, it'd be easy, but I got to look at Connor. You're like, I use apps and I just want to be like, Pornhub. <laughs> 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 yeah, have you seen the TikTok thing where like they make, they play the beginning or like it's a anything? It's the like, intro for Pornhub. They play the a, intro for Pornhub and see the, who reacts to it. There's an like, intro to Pornhub. Yeah, it's a drum track. Yeah, the, yeah. I don't know how it goes. I don't <laughs> you know, know, know it. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everybody knows. It. Everybody knows. It. There was an intro. Yeah, there's an intro to all the. I mean, like uh, there's an intro to it, and, and they. Do play you not it. get the intro if you go through the back door or something? No, there's an intro to every video. For but, porn type exclusive videos, it's a, just a little simple drum beat. Yeah, it's a drum beat and stuff, and it like that's the beginning of it. So they play that, <laughs> they play that out loud, and they see who turns yeah, around. And like, see it. Kids, oh, yeah. kids yeah. are doing it in high school, and their teachers are like, oh, "What the fuck?" And it's like, "Teacher, you know." <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's oh, great. Fuck. But it's funny whenever you see somebody who's like a little kid yeah. who notices. That's it. not funny. 
it's pretty funny to me because I don't have kids. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Well, that that some bitch is gonna be holding fucking sauce packets from your ass <laughs> in the fucking drive-through. But I mean, that it's so it's it's hilarious. It's hilarious. It is funny, but with little kids, it's not cool. It's not cool, but it is. I mean, what what does that tell you? That okay, so like there, I was just watching a deal with the. Uh, Rogan the other day talking about uh, how plastic's basically making us infertile. And our taints are shrinking and our penises are shrinking, by the way, based on those things. I just summed it up. It sounded a lot smarter coming from the lady that talked about it. But What um, was her name? Uh, it was like Susan Swan. I, I missed. I skipped that one. Yeah, but yeah. It was good. Yeah. It was good. It was really informative. Can't stand anybody who's not a comedian on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to learn nothing. Well, I just think it's just like I'm just tired of it now. I just want to get on Pornhub and well, I just, I'm tired. whack some zombies. I just want to hear funny shit now. Go home and meditate. My I just want to be funny. That's all. You're just funny looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I try. I so, try. back to your meditation? Or are we talking single about single handed meditation? Oh, okay. Well,. Do you go to the gym? Do you go to the gym at all? When I when I work out when I try to go to the gym, it's difficult because it's like everybody has to wear a mask and everyone has to be one machine apart from each other. Were you going before that? I was going to the like before before the pandemic. Were you going to like the gym? Yeah, but but at the at the apartment as I have my apartment, I have my gym in my apartment. So in there, they have like the COVID rules and stuff for it. Yeah, same thing, same thing, Mm -hmm. same same rules. You have to wear a mask, but it's funny because when you're in there and. uh, you're i'm in there by myself i don't have a mask on and then someone comes in and you're like ready to put your mask on but then you're like or do they have their mask on and then if they don't have their mask on i'm like i'm not putting my mask on right. like, no, no. it's like you're waiting for the other person to see what their you know what their stance is on the mask and if they don't put their mask up then i'm like i'm not putting my mask up. but if they do you put yours on yeah Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm just being I'm just being polite. I'm just well, that's how I am. With it sucks when you're on a treadmill and you're running and you're like fucking have your mask on. And I'm like, God damn it, man! I really don't want this on right now. Well, that's how it's been. That like in and out. I'm a fat ass. So mm-hmm. going there lately. Connor like, is fat. Oh yeah, totally. Fat. <laughs> Thick. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but um, lately, like I think the past couple of weeks, they've been letting people actually dine inside, and mm-hmm. it's the same thing. It's like okay. Like obviously, people eating have their mask off, but yeah. going to order, it's like people. It's funny. Me. It's funny though. Like at the bar, though, like you don't even think about it. Oh well, yeah. Because well, you're that's like, what I've We're been at talking the bar. about. Fuck it. Like you, mm-hmm. you see people coming with mask. Everybody looks at them like, who the fuck's this? And they go, oh shit. Like right, they yeah, take it off. Real quick. I have been. I've been talking to people since. I mean, because I've been asking about like what's the capacity been here mm-hmm. in Visalia? Because like I'm going out with people in a couple nights and stuff. And I'm just like, what's the capacity like? And everyone's like, it's full capacity everywhere. It's been for a little bit. Everybody, just, everybody's kind of been like, yeah, fuck this. And I'm just kind of like, I'm surprised. Mm-hmm. I'm very much surprised because I'm like, really? I'm like, that's cool. But I'm surprised because I'm just not used to it. I'm used to just being think, half cap. Uh, and I think the Central Valley is a little bit different, you know? Like, yeah. I, like I, I had to go down, down south um, for work. And all I had to do was just I'd go do something real quick. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm I'm down there and even getting out to get gas. Yeah. And I'm like looking around. It's like everybody. I mean, there's like people on the street, people, everybody in their cars have masks on. Everybody's got a mask like that's outside of a house. And it, it seemed intense to me. And right. there was a lot of people, mm-hmm. you know. So I'm like, damn. Like, and I'm literally pumping gas where I'm like, fuck, I guess I better put a fucking mask on. Right. You know, so. And, and I think it's probably a bigger deal down there, or maybe yeah. it is. But I don't know. I don't, it, it has become politicized, like you said, so I can definitely see those areas doing that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, up here, it's it's um, this is still, we're California, but we're like a different kind of California, you know? Yeah. It's, but we're also kind of fucking dumb too. So there's that. I'm not. I'm not gonna like give it credit. Like, woohoo! Look at us fighting the fucking power. Like we're, yeah. we fight shit fucking completely ass 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 backwards. Yeah. We don't mm-hmm. fucking do it the right way. I mean, we're, I, I think it's cool. I think it's cool, but at the same time, I'm just like kind of like, like surprised. I'm not. Like, yeah. I don't. I'm just like really. I'm like okay, that's cool that you're doing it, but damn. I mean. Well, I think here we are a year later, and everybody's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. But then also here, I mean, I don't know mm-hmm. how everyone's. Um, 
attitude on the vaccine is and stuff. I've, I've recently kind of asked around. Well, you it. just demonetize this. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Talking about the fucking vaccine. I won't talk about it. We can talk. We won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. Like the, the five people watching are. I mean, it's, it's 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 it's. I mean, we had to be like within the first beginning of it, right? I don't know. I mean, I saw Alex Jones get his stuff taken off. If anybody's watching this at this point, still, I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, uh, hour and thirty minutes in. Yeah, yeah, it's about that's about what we do. Really? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it feels very short. Um, for the most part, you're 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 full of a lot of shit. So um, we can talk for days with you. I know, mm-hmm. I know, I know. You gonna get the vaccine? Uh, most likely. <laughs> Our lefty brothers get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll just I just surprise. <laughs> living, living in, in like where everyone in my company <laughs> was telling me that they, they are, and I'm like, ugh. You're like, oh, I gotta get it now. Peer pressure. Yeah. Even the homeless guy fucking standing on the street who called me a motherfucker for not giving I don't him know. change. Sway got it. <laughs> fucking sway like. Ever since I get back the vaccine. Literally, ever since I moved back, everybody has made me feel like I shouldn't get the vaccine. But when I live, over everybody there, here. Yes. Calls you. No. Man, fucking stupid. No, yeah. but I mean, they're just like no one. Everybody. Shy, little sissy. I have one friend who's gotten the vaccine. Here. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, one friend. You know him. Oh uh, fuck! He's also a redhead. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, because his, his immune name rhymes. Lower. He needs it, <laughs> uh-huh. so he could stay outside longer. In the he sun. wanted to travel and stuff. That was the reason why. His name rhymes with yeah. Bye, bits. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I've I've thought about it, but I just don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Janie says she wants to get it. I, it's 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 difficult. Janie like talks like I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. She keeps saying that. I yeah. think it's dumb that if I'm gonna have to go on a plane ride, that I have to prove it. Mm-hmm. Like that's some bullshit. Yeah, because I mean, in a sense, like okay, if you get it right, you get the vaccination. I've had right. COVID. Lion's had COVID. Right. You know, what's the fucking difference at right. that point? Like. I have my antibodies. You have your antibodies. Well, uh, 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 a person of JRE he said that if you, <laughs> he said that if you, uh, if you are a younger person and you've had COVID at one point, you shouldn't. But he he went back on that. Right, but I mean, yeah. If I have my antibodies, you got your shot that gave you your antibodies. Like, what's the fucking difference of me sitting on a plane ride with you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, that's the thing, too. I'm always wondering. Uh, like, I'm doing fine. Here's, they keep talking about having to do booster shots, too. But yeah. here's my question is, if that was the case, if this thing was going to continue to mutate and keep coming back around, then it would be like the flu. Mm-hmm. Why the hell is this time this year yeah. not like it was this last time last year? Mm-hmm. Why mm-hmm. are the numbers getting substantially better? So, like, in a way, it's not really mutating the same way that they, they believed or said. I don't know. Frankly, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, bottom line, I don't give a fuck. I don't, personally, and I'm not trying to tell anybody else to do anything else that they would, but like, yeah. I don't, I, I, fr- I frankly personally, don't care. Yeah. I frankly don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I, I do, I do like giving you a hard time if you're going to get the vaccine like a little bitch. No, but, but. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But, Since I've been back, I have been thinking about even not getting it because of everybody's <laughs> attitude towards it. Because I'm you all just, like, if you get it, don't tell anybody. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like if you go and suck a dick, don't you dare tell anybody. Especially back here. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you don't talk about sucking dick back here. <laughs> <laughs> Especially back here. I mean, they don't. I mean, it's it just seems like it just it's crazy the attitude towards COVID here compared to Denver. I think the frustration, because if you think about it, too, think about, like... Uh, I do a lot of tech people. Well, so, yeah, but it's like we, we've talked about it, too, and what I end up thinking a lot of is, and I hate using the phrases, but it's kind of like, um, you know, back in the 2008, like, with the crash, right? Like, it's Main Street versus right. Wall Street type of thing. Right. Well, it's not really Wall Street, but, I mean, in a way it is. Like, if you want to say, like, the, the conglomerates, right, or the big, the big brands, too. Mm-hmm. Right. Everybody's complaint here is like, well, fucking Lowe's is open and Walmart and Target, you can go in there all day long. But you can't go down to the local hardware store. You can't go down to the restaurant like the mom and pop shop. Mm-hmm. Right. So like here, especially, it was definitely Main Street versus Wall Street. Right. You know, I mean, like the tavern don't have, you know, an IPO. 
Right. You can't you can't buy share if you want to fucking buy shares, go ahead, send the fucking money, please. Yeah, put your money on the board. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing we collect that shit, because otherwise that's a lot of money sitting out there. But you know, it's like I think that's more more here in this area it is I mean, because we have those things too. We have a Lowe's, there's you know, Targets, Walmarts, all those things. But like there's a lot of mom and pop, you know. And also here even so, the people that own the Targets and the Lowe's, the McDonald's, all those places, they're local folks, too. They employ the local folks, too. Right. You know, so, like, it's, I don't know. I, I think when it, it kind of a smaller capacity, you know, to um, population-wise, I think we tend to look at it. That's easy, and it's probably like that in a lot of places. You know, it's easy to look at it differently. Right. Then a larger metropolitan area. Right. You know. Plus you guys are living on top of each other. But now that you yeah. guys have all lived inside your houses for a fucking year, all the homeless folks and Sway and his crew have fucking taken over the streets. <laughs> yeah, You're no, afraid I mean, to ride I mean, the fucking rails now because Sway is fucking yeah, running I mean, it. It was like one of the first times I ever went out was... um. I was going to Best Buy to grab something and I actually took the bus um, and made me mad because Best Buy didn't give my stuff in a bag. They like gave it to me in my hand and I'm like, that's terrible. Yeah. So I had my stuff in my hand. I had my stuff in my hands and not in a bag. Oh, to like conceal it. Yeah. Why don't you wear a fucking fanny pack or something? Well, it's a big thing. I can't just put in a fanny pack. Why don't you wear a backpack. Yeah. I should have had a backpack and I didn't. They go off. Plug it in. And, um. Don't shake it. Shake it. Shake it real good. Uh, oh, it's in. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in? Is it yes. in? Are you sure it's in? All right. So, anyways, the Get guy a gave you. a shoehorn or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoehorn some shit. <laughs> so, the guy gave you your but, okay, so extra I, packets yeah, of sauce he, in your hands. Yeah, he gave Not he, a bag. He gave me my, my Best Buy. Pa- Aren't you supposed purchase. to bring your own fucking bags in Denver? I don't fucking know. I don't know the shit. I mean, I just I just went and I thought they would just give my own bag. That's I thought personal. They were, did they get rid of plastic bags in Denver too? No, no, they just got well, rid then of straws. That guy's just an ass. They, they got, got rid of straws. Really? They got sea turtles in Denver too. I mean, I think that the Starbucks did that all around. They just went to the sippy oh, cup. They were the only ones. You yeah, couldn't get straws anywhere else. I went, I went to a place in Starbucks where they asked me if I wanted a straw after I got the sippy cup thing. And they're just like, "Do you want a straw?" And I'm like, "Wait, we're only talking about a Starbucks." Yeah, I know we're talking about bar. We're, we're we're jumping around. Oh, we're, I thought we were talking about every place that didn't have. We're straws. talking about best. We're, we're, we first I was asking if they had fucking straws or not, or if it was that one goddamn sea turtle that ruined it for everybody. That was California, I think, mostly about about those. Oh, uh, okay. But they have straws at Best but, Buy. But 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 no. I'm lost now. <laughs> we no. started with Best Buy. No, he moved on he, the straw. Yeah, he went okay. on the sea turtles. You went to Best Buy. We were talking about the the homeless people first, and about why I don't take the trains anymore. Okay, mm-hmm. okay so, so when I said the train. Best, when I went to Best Buy. You had your goodies in your hand, and I bought my thing, and everybody I, and, was eyeballing. And I got on the bus, back on the bus, and I had my bike purchase on the bus, and instantly I was just being like not attacked, but just like being I raped, addressed. I mean, he was just like going at me. He was just like he was just kept on saying like like things like, "Uh, I bet you're doing all right during this, during all this and stuff." And he just kept giving me shit and saying. And then he then he said some stupid shit like, "I'm not gonna use that stimulus check." And I'm like, "Yeah, okay." Says the guy with a tall can in his hand on the bus. <laughs> you can drink on the bus. You, have you been in the city? Yeah, yeah. I mean that they do that. It's a normal thing. That's a no, normal. But is it allowed? Like it's no. legal? No, it's just no. frowned upon. Are you are you gonna tell? Are you gonna tell someone? That it's just frowned upon. Like you gonna meditating the, on an airplane? You gonna tell the guy in the back? Like put that tall cane out? Have you never been on the like transit on Hate and Ashbury in San Fran? You smoke been on the, all day. I've been on, on the Bart. One. I mean that's just as bad. <laughs> this is bad. The Bart's yeah. fun. People, people. I mean, like they do what they want. You no, can't. It's you just can't, crazy. You mm-hmm. can't tell them anything, but. Can't tell him nothing. Can't tell him nothing. <laughs> but um, uh, I mean, he was just going at me for a little bit, and just like, and he was like, "We don't wear a mask on this bus." And I was like, "I was like, I pull my mask down." I was like, "Good, because I can see your face." And I was like, "It's like I, I feel more comfortable telling your face." And I was like talking to him, trying to be cool, but not trying to back down to his 
bullshit that he was mm-hmm. giving me. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, man, this is going to be my bus ride from now on. Anytime that I take a bus, anytime I'll take a light rail, I'm going to get shit. And I have to dress down. Mm-hmm. Like when I get on the bus, I have to dress down. I can't dress like I can't have my AirPods in. I can't have anything that has anything that has any form of money or anything like that mm. to make me seem that I have money. Because the divide, divide is growing right yeah. now. The divide between you know people who have money who don't have money is growing. And then people who take the train are the people who have to take the train. Before, people would take the train because you know it was easy and stuff. And not because they had to. And we're saving the environment. And stuff. But now, now because of the pandemic, they don't want to take it. So then now it's emptier. And now it's just poor and homeless people now. Told you. And like taking over. And it's I mean, it's it's bad. I mean, I, I walk around with Arthur all the time. Um, and we and we just see we see all the we see the the influx of homeless people in Denver and it's just bad. And it's like we go down the creeks and stuff and you just see it's like a home it's like a mad max. I told you. Oh yeah. It was like Skid it's like row a it's, out in Denver. Yeah, it's just but it's down by the creeks and stuff where it's like you walk into this whole nother like environment of like just whole new world of tents everywhere oh yeah down see, by the water yeah and it's just like it but it's, it's like the right, st john's it's right on you don't even see it if you people don't see it mm-hmm. because they're st. john's you can see it yeah it's you drive out across the bridge on uh ben maddox well they, now they've got that all pulled down basically the the county's gone out there so many yeah. times and start trashing it but i was telling you the other day it's like you go down the 198 everything's on the 198 mm-hmm. it's all on the highway yeah. there's yeah. straight up passes. barbecues out there and shit yeah I mean, it's bad. I mean, the, the divide is growing. I saw so a deal much. someone shared, uh, like to, they sent to Adam Carolla on Twitter, mm-hmm. and it was I don't know where it was at. I don't know if it was California, if it was in Oregon or what. They had a fucking garage made out of the tents. Like there was an easy up, and there was like a flap, and they were fucking parking a car oh, in there. My God. I was like, damn, that's fucking impressive. It's crazy because it was bad already before. Because mm-hmm. like you know, when I lived in L.A. and stuff, and you would come and we would uh, walk down the alleyway, and right. we would see all those bums that were in those garages it was only like maybe though i mean like from like your apartment complex through the school it was maybe like eight yeah and that was like four blocks but that was four blocks and that was but that was the ones you could see yeah that was those the are the homeless see. people you could see they didn't give two shits the yeah. ones that who would actually and also ones that would work because mm-hmm. there was a homeless guy who would sweep everybody's business in the front and he was he had headphones on he would just do his thing and stuff he was a, he was one of the good homeless people mm-hmm. who did his thing Oh, the good homeless people. There are. I mean, they're good and oh, bad. Oh, they're not all bad. Two no. percent. No, there's some of who actually really wanted to work and really wanted to find something. And there, they, I was thinking you had a heart. I mean, not all. I of thought them were you good. were rather liberal, but they like, were, shit, you're not. No, yeah. I mean, that's what everyone thought you're I was. Lost, everyone son. thought I was liberal since I moved to L.A. Soulless as hell. Yep. I you mean. admitted to being a liberal yesterday night. When? I mean, you when you and mom are arg- arguing about consciousness. Okay, well, that's that's oh, no, no, yeah, a that, different level of that. You don't want to bring that conversation. <laughs> no, in. We don't want to bring that in here right now. That's another three hours. Yeah, you guys went on for three hours. It was midnight, and then I went to bed at three. Because you agreed with mom. Why'd you agree with mom? He was tired. I just wanted it to end. I've you, been there. You're like, mom knows what she's talking about with kids. Like, she's my kids. You're my kids. I know who you are. Keep I'm, drinking your I dank know, drink. I know I'm not getting myself in trouble with mom right now. <laughs> you are. Mom watches these too. I don't. Know, I don't think she gets these far. So no, as she far gets pretty far. She gets pretty far. I love you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss ass. Nice try. She even said that you were her favorite the other day. We argue a lot, and I love her, but we argue a lot. So that's all. It happens. <laughs> We argue a lot. That's all. It's me and grandma. My grandma told me that why we argue a lot. Because you're little middle child. Uh, we're both very independent people. Well, how do you maintain all those relationships? Who? I like how Connor's bringing this in here. What? I don't even have to post this stuff on the board. We talked about putting it. He knows what he's doing. Just answer the fucking question. What? So, with, like, with mom, like, you and her arguing, or, like, you and grandma, or just, in a sense, you and your work people, like, how do you maintain those relationships? I'm now the sidekick. <laughs> you are. I have taken I like it. You have taken it over. This I is like my this. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so how do I maintain those relationships? Yeah, like, well, okay, so like you and mom arguing, but like with her being 
more hippie, open-minded. That's <laughs> not open-minded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Likes to think. Um, I mean, I, <laughs> I I'm open-minded. I mean, I've always been very open to everybody's conversation, like anybody's point of view. I will, I'm very passionate on my own point of view, and which makes people kind of like feel like I'm argumentative, I guess. But I'm just very passionate on my side, and also I just like to push the other side. I always tell people after I'm done talking in the conversation, I feel like I told I told you plenty of times that I just like to challenge. I'm just always a person who just wants to challenge the other side. Yeah, but are even, you are you doing that even though it goes against your yeah. opinion? Yeah, totally. Some, some, some sometimes, sometimes yes, I will. Because mm-hmm. later on, I'll find out that I, like I don't really believe in what I'm talking about. I'm just full of shit, creating a conversation. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm doing. Is <laughs> <laughs> is just starting a conversation. And also, I've told people in the past that like if I don't believe you, unless how how hard you stick to you what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Like if you're if you back down to me at any point in the conversation, I don't believe. Oh, it's a dominance thing. Yeah, probably too. <laughs> probably too. Probably that too. That's but I why, just that's I just want to have a submissive dog, right? Yeah, my dog's not submissive. He is. No, he's not. He ever you seen him fighting with anybody? He won't fight anybody unless he wins. He's submissive. <laughs> no. Or so he's just an asshole. <laughs> Yeah. He just picks fights he can fucking win. Yes. Uh, yes. I see. Yeah. He he's not very submissive. Quinn is smaller than him. He he won't go against he won't he won't play fight with anybody he won't win. Quinn's an asshole. Just yeah. Saying. But uh no, I mean I I've always just been very open minded to everybody. Even mom. Mm-hmm. I mean even mom. Even mom we, we argue a lot. But I was later on she will never know but i'm always very much taking in what she says right you're it, listening to everything anybody anybody mm-hmm. i take in everybody even though you won't think that i'm listening to you later on i will because i can't help but replay the conversation in my head over and over again of maybe i was wrong mm-hmm. maybe i was right but i it, it's in the conversation i can't be wrong i can't be wrong in the in, in the conversation okay. it's hard for me uh, to be wrong in the conversation uh, to admit that maybe your opinion wasn't right in it. Yeah, in the conversation, I, I it's hard for me to admit that I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's a personal thing. I get that and stuff. That my stubbornness of, I mean, we all are very stubborn in every aspect. I mean, it's hard. I'm not stubborn. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, not I'm stubborn. Dead. No, <laughs> stubborn. Uh, Fuck you. I'm not stubborn. <laughs> But like it, yeah, in the conversation, I can't, I can't be wrong. But later on, I will. But I'm open to everybody. I mean, I, I want to know. The hops are gone. I want, <laughs> I want to know everybody's point. I want to know. <clears throat> I mean, I you wanna, really? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I, I mean, I, I think I want to give anybody a chance of to explain their part because I don't. I've never thought of myself as a good person. And Me my, neither. So. Why would I, I would I would hope that somebody would give me a chance? Why do you think of yourself as a good person? I don't know. I just think I've done bad things and I've I've thought bad things and you've done bad things to other people. Yeah. You ever kill anybody? No. You ever okay. rape anybody? No. Okay, then you haven't done any bad things. You're probably all right then. Yeah, I mean I've done. I mean, but I've 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 I've, I've thought about myself first before other people. Oh, you've been selfish. Yeah. That's you mean like everybody thing. else? Yeah. yeah. In the That's fucking world, not a bad thing. I think that's kind of bad sometimes when you in certain 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 scenarios if you put sometimes up. it might be self preservation too though yeah I guess it depends yeah I, mean, I can see what you do I just don't I honestly I always thought you never really give yourself enough credit yeah I mean, and that's probably that also could be Cole's fault because he gives you a lot of shit and teases you all the time oh fuck it and like Cole gave me so much even though shit. that might be all of us. Too. I mean, but anyways. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. blame Cole because he ain't here right now. I think it's funny because whenever Cole, <laughs> at, at one point in his life, that he decided to apologize to me for what, how he treated me and stuff, and he thought it was like I'm so. It was like it was funny. It was back in like military times. Whenever he first started, and he came back and he was apologizing to me. Oh really? For um, he's like, yeah, I treated you kind of badly and stuff, and I was like, like when you were little. Yeah, and I was like, you're a little too late. You're a little too late. Oh, why you still hold it against him? 
Oh, I just don't think that like you apologize now. It doesn't mean much to me at this at this point. And stuff. why? Look at now you can't even forgive. Damn, you are stubborn. <laughs> uh, I might be a mean person. Yeah, I get it. I get. I yeah. Get it. But I just like he just. It's like I get it. You're trying to apologize, but it's gone now. It's gone. Don't apologize now for it. Yeah, it was just to make himself feel better anyway. Yeah, then it doesn't make me feel better. Oh, so now you hold it against him because he's trying to just make himself feel better. Bro, That's you all. should learn how to forgive and make you feel better. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. You you can forget, but you don't forget. Yeah, uh, straight up. I mean, I did forget. That's the problem. That's the well, thing. I did forget. You forgot forget. before you forgot. I forgot. And then he get brought it up, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I mean, I don't give a shit. You were a dickhead. But also, at the same time, when he was a dick, it, it, I mean, obviously made something of who I am today. Oh, that's why you got to be a dickhead? Yeah, probably. Most cool. likely. <laughs> but... I mean, he it it made me it made me thick skin where I don't really like when people were kind of like a little bit like mean to me at work, in a way that I don't give a shit. Because my brother I, said worse. I yeah. don't give a shit. Like when well, people when people are ever mean to me in any way. But here's the deal. Like whenever up, you, whenever you got that from Cole, like or for any of us, right? Like yeah. we talk shit about each other all the time. Yeah. Do you take that serious? Or personal in the past. The in the past, when I was a little kid, I remember taking it really hard, mm. and like being really hard on myself about how much my brothers I thought they didn't like me. Like, but when I got older, I just thought like that it was just them being the, yeah. my older brothers and stuff. But yes, when I was little, I I I took it to heart. But it was but it, when I got older, I just I understood what it meant mm. and stuff. But yeah, I I I I took it to heart when at the, at the time and stuff, but. It was a different mind at that time that took yeah. it to heart. That this mind that I have now is not the well, same. Well, like being younger, yeah, right from a younger perspective. But I mean, so here's the other deal. Like, did you ever not feel loved by Cole or any of us? I mean, like as, as far as like brothers go. I mean, did you ever no. feel like that that yeah. that was something that was Missing. that wasn't there? Um, no, I I knew Cole loved me. I just didn't, he was just. Like a dick. The, the one that I was scared of the most. Really? Yeah. I was scared of the most from, from Cole. Mm. I was scared are of what are Cole... Are you mad by that statement, Landon? Not necessarily. <laughs> I just think it, I, I well, do well, find Landon, it... Well, Landon, as a little kid, I knew to, to not touch Landon or to never get Landon upset. That I knew that he was the like you know the one that you just didn't was fuck the with. dominant one. You didn't fuck with him mm. and stuff, and that was it. And Cole, I could fuck with. But he was the one he could yeah. come at me. Well, yeah, because like and stuff. Yeah, right? so there. <clears throat> here's the thing: I will not apologize for anything when we were younger. <laughs> first of all, that's a first disclaimer. I know the shit I did. I'm not necessarily proud of it. Still not gonna fucking apologize for it. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> Simple. But secondly, too, like I mean, I can see that too. Like where, but here's the other thing. Like with our bond is a little bit different than like I got I got buddies you know like we'll talk about like with with their siblings and stuff where they are not I mean they don't even fucking hardly talk yeah as it is I mean yeah. they're it's not the same it's not it's not like what what yeah. we got and I think that like outside of the, the actual squabbling and bickering and fighting and stuff because like I see it with my kids I've seen it with mm -hmm. all three of them yeah. you know Haley and Hayden Hayden and June June and Haley. Mm -hmm. Even that gap in age there, but those two like they they go at it and hate it. Hayden just fucking picks on everybody. I'm right. like, yep, that's me, you know. So, but there is, I think that there was always kind of a, a the foundation was always kind of there. Right. You know what I mean? Where like we knew we had to take care of each other, so like that really that resonated. You know, probably. Especially for me, even more so. Yeah. Like, if it, if I... <laughs> like, Cole talks about it all the time when he's like, yeah, Lennon would torture us. And I'm like, yeah, actually, I fucking would. I remember because Cole was such a fucking sissy. Yeah. Like, I would I would fuck with him so bad. And it, and it was it was just me being a bully. Mm -hmm. You know, like, 100%. But, like, we're close. We're close. We're as close as we've ever been, if not even more. The, the, the more we've grown, too. Yeah. Because I never really meant... It out of malice. I never meant it out of hate. I never right. disliked Cole. I never disliked any of you guys. And I think that was kind of like the genuine thing that was there. That it's like, okay, there's there's a base. And I think that was something that we were taught also, which was 
your family, you stick up. That you base. Know. We talk I can about that base. Mm-hmm. I can the roots. Yeah. <laughs> roots in your core, yeah. That's See, it, but it's know. like I can talk shit and give you crap, but if somebody else does, I'm like, hey, shut the fuck up. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I and I think that's that's kind of across the board. You know what I mean? Like you you'll never fight with anybody like you do with your brother, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah. I mean, same thing. I mean, I I, I know I tortured you, Connor. Oh, totally. I, <laughs> I totally. Uh, I maybe totally. I got tortured by all the you baby. Guys. Yeah, yeah. It was hard because you get, fuck you. I didn't have the privileges you pieces of shit yeah, fucking yeah. ended up having. I, I thirteen years apart, you were gone. I was told too. It was like, oh, we. I learned on you. Like, oh, you learned. Oh, good. <laughs> I had That's to, nice. Yeah, it's most. I had to deal with cold. I'm like, what time's your fucking bedtime? <laughs> like, well, I, don't I just want to like go to bed. I'm like, fuck you guys. <laughs> bed at fucking. Five o'clock in the afternoon. I felt like it just rolled down <laughs> more than anything. It's like it just like you were so bad to Cole, and then then Cole was. So oh, bad it was to my me. fault, is what you're saying, and then it just made it worse. Yeah, you kind of were. I, I mean, so mom did say him. mom did say you were the worst child, so you were the you were the mom, most, mom were the lies child. to each of us when she talks to us. You were the problem. You were the problem child. That's what she liked to tell you. Yeah, not what she tells me. And she said you were the problem <laughs> child, and then then she actually says. That one with the devil's red hair <laughs> is my biggest pain in the ass. And you were mean to Cole, and then Cole was mean to me, and then I was mean to, mean to Connor. Uh, and that's how it worked. That's, that's how it worked. Yeah. You were just the evil then I, one. Then I was mean to Hayden. You are mean to Hayden. I mean, yeah, my mom, everyone says that you're mean as, mean as shit to all the kids. Oh, all the, the kids. grandkids. All the grandkids. <laughs> fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> Those yeah. little heathens. Yeah. You're just so mean and rough with Stupid them. Stupid kids. Yeah, even with the pets. Even mom says you're mean with the pets. Oh. Pets. So you're so rough with them. You gotta be discipline them. Yes. <laughs> You gotta pet them so they can feel it. <laughs> That's a Cole thing. Cole would do that. Cole like wants to like pet things and like, like from really the head to in. the spine. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. To the end of the tilt. I wasn't that mean. I wasn't mean. I wasn't mean, but I was mean. Was I mean? How mean was I? Do you remember how mean I was? Scale of one to ten. I don't remember being pinned in a corner underneath the island in the house, like you and Cole were. Like oh, when Cole when Cole beat me up in the kitchen. Yeah, and pinned you in the corner. Yeah, and he told me because I put my fist because I put my fist up to him. I don't have any of those, but I remember us fighting with the swords. Yeah, and filmed it. Did we film that one? I filmed it. You didn't know about it. Mm. (laughs) Did the camera? Yeah, I felt I felt I, I wanted to see how well he would fight against me, but he didn't want to fight against me. Well, because it was You're like the second shit. round. <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to fight. You're a real dickhead. <laughs> I want to see how well you fight. Yeah, you doing that to me. my baby brother. I we were using ass. we were using swords and shields. He had a pl- he had he had he had two shields shields probably and two swords probably. Yeah, well, this one. is also like me and Cole boxing, where we only had one pair of gloves, and it was like okay. Cole, you wear the right-handed one because I'm the older brother. I wear the left-handed one. And then we held on to the throw pillows in the other hand. <laughs> Little did Cole know my strong hand now has less padding. <laughs> right. Because you could turn the pillow. and actually- Fuck yeah. <laughs> and the pillows were all, like, they were those light blue ones that were, like, yeah, I don't know what kind of feathers good. or cotton they had in them. <laughs> that it was, like, they were pretty much, like, hollow. They weren't that good. So, like, I just, like, one punch and all the stuffing separated. So it was just, like, my fist and, like, a piece of napkin. It was good. It was mm-hmm. good. That's how me and Bart used to po- use the box. You know, we turned the tamp- trampoline upside down and turned it into a ring. Because you guys punched the elbow through. No, somebody jumped on it and actually fell ripped through it. it. Someone yeah. ripped it back. In yeah, the- I had a boxing. Then we turned boxing matches in the we backyard. We still have those tapes. If we have a VCR You still have my, my boxing tapes? Do. Yeah, they're in the little... Yeah, like got a, we got one at the ranch. Yeah. Oh, dude! If we those yeah. are good boxing matches. Some of them are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Some are pretty funny. Joaquin and Dottie's was probably dude. The best. Joaquin just <laughs> wrecked people. Uh, yeah, he was like fucking seven foot tall. I boxed him once. It didn't work that well. Mm-hmm. It didn't work that well because no one would box him anymore. And I was like my house, and I was like, I'll box you. And then I boxed <laughs> him, and it just didn't. It didn't go well at all. <laughs> it didn't go well. <laughs> I boxed two people and I didn't do too well. Mm-mm. I didn't. It do happens. Well. I boxed Mikey and Mikey got me with an elbow. <laughs> Cheating son of a. <laughs> yeah, bitch. he did like an overhand and like his elbow. Just it's like, funny you think about that. Like that shit was all going on around the same time that like bum fights 
and backyard boxing yeah, and brawl. Kimbo Slice stuff. Kimbo Slice. All that shit was going on around the same time that, like, we were all doing that kind of shit. We were all boxing in the backyard. Somebody else just fucking monetized it fucking But sooner. we were Someone children. Posted it. But well, we no, were. like, me and my friends were doing the same shit, though. Yeah. But it was yeah. all camcorder and shit, mm-hmm. which is why, fuck, man, if we had a fucking phone. If only. Right. Easier but to fucking. We were, well, we were children. We would have gotten in a lot of trouble. That's all. We have the fucking video evidence of it. <laughs> I know. I know. I mean, we would have posted at the time. We would have been. Like, you would have fucking posted it. I mean, if we had. I would have posted it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all would have. I yeah. mean, you know why we recorded it, to be honest. I don't even know why we did it. Because you had a camera. Playbacks. Yeah. Yeah, fuck <laughs> we, it. We did, we did school and then go box it, it, at the house. It's a typical little kid thing, dude. Anytime like, I play a video like with my kids, like I record them doing something or take a picture, as soon as you do that, they're like, let me see it. Like, right away, I'm like, you just literally yeah, lived this moment yeah, fucking exactly. seconds ago, but you want to see what it. What do I look like? Yeah. What do I, I look like? I want to see it. I want to watch it. It's funny. But, yeah, well, that's I mean, a, what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Just talking with those kids. It's so funny. So, do we fix all the problems? I think we solved a few of them. Do you feel better? Talked about your work. Talk about a little your bit. We talk about we talk about mental health. Us. Yeah, and we talked about your mental wellness and your your meditation. You didn't let me talk about it, but we I talked mean, about yeah, your you talked in circles about it. No, I started to talk about it, it, and then you take me away from jerk it. meditation because you guys couldn't stop laughing about me meditating. Yeah, and then you said you worked out with a mask on. Yeah, and then we talked about your relationship, great relationship with your mother and your brothers. And you're a hot mess with a. I'm a, I'm a process with a. <laughs> <laughs> God, uh, we're back on this conversation the uh, fucking other night. Yeah, it's like a good friend of mine that keeps. I'm broken. It's the same thing he says all the time. I'm like, bro, shut up. I'm not saying I'm broken. I'm saying I'm I know, but you say I'm on process. Well, everyone's in a process of putting the pieces back together. Everyone is on a process. I'm not on a process, bro. Yeah, it was in what are then who fixed line. Then, I'm on a who, I'm who, on the straights then, and the narrows. Then, then what are you then? Huh? Then what are you? I was a man. Okay. Connor Eugene motherfucking Wilcox. That's who I am. Uh, that's, that's not your name, but okay. That's my slave name. That's get it right. That, that's your slave <laughs> name? <laughs> are you did you call yourself a slave right now? That's what I was born with. It's my slave name. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. Sorry, Linda. Sorry, Sorry, Linda. Did you and just that's where you? we end. <laughs>